tasty treat out from deep inside that crevasse, that little, that little tasty morsel within the hole. This is the pre-stream bit. This is the new intro. I mean, actually, if you're watching this in six months' time after I've recorded it, it's probably not the new intro. But yeah, welcome to the stream. Here comes the sun, little darling. I'm not live right now. This is a pre-recorded intro, but I will be live shortly. Don't you fucking worry. So welcome to the Hot Boy Milky Gamer Zone. I am the Hot Boy Gamer. I am the most milkable man in esports entertainment. I am the premier beard of the format. If you don't believe me, well, I was endorsed by Louis Scott Vargas. What gives him authority over beards? I don't know, but it sounds good on paper. This is twitch.tv forward slash Pleasant Kenobi. This is where the magic happens, or at least the streaming of the magic. I do stream other things too. A little bit of Warhammer there, a little bit of painting here. A little bit of variety content. Sometimes I play League of Legends, just get incredibly stressed out. But mainly, it's magic. I'm live this time, 7 p.m. Well, I say this time. I might play this intro before a non-Monday stream. But I'm live every Monday at 7 p.m. GMT or BST, as well as impromptu streams announced via my Twitter and my Instagram and my YouTube. So you should follow me on all those platforms too. Why I'm called. Yep, not very original, Pleasant Kenobi. There are links to my Instagram and my Twitter and my YouTube down in the uh, like About Me section below this stream. Um, YouTube is where the real magic happens in the sense that I put up more content over there. I put up between three and seven videos a week, primarily magic. Again, a bit of variety content. Wednesdays tend to be Warhammer, but the majority is Magic the Gathering. If you are here for pro plays, if you are here to become an MPL level player, well, firstly, I don't even quite know what the MPL is, but secondly, this is not the place for you. I'm gonna make mistakes, I'm gonna get distracted, I'm gonna talk about complete fucking nonsense, and I'm probably gonna get a bit salty. But in spite of the teaspoons, maybe heaped teaspoons of salt, I think that the environment and the community we've cultivated here is a relatively positive one, an inclusive one. That's right, I did say inclusive. If you're the kind of person that hears the word inclusive and you sort of recoil in pain, if you're the sort of person that asks others to keep politics out of their game, well, you can fuck off. This is not what you're going to enjoy. You're not going to like it here. This will be your own personal hell. That's right, I'm a little bit left-leaning and that's going to be really upsetting for some of you. I'm not even remotely sorry. So we're going to sling some spells, we're going to chat shit, we're going to chat about absolute fucking nonsense, but we're going to have a good time whilst doing it. So grab a brew, grab a tinny of sody pop, grab a coffee, grab a pale ale, a fruit cider, a fruit shoot, just grab a drink, kick up a stool, lay back. You can even have a wank if you want. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not in a hot tub very often though, so it's not quite the same wank bank material as Twitch. I probably shouldn't go into that. If you want to support, you can subscribe by the button that is either above or below my head. I'm not even sure anymore with all the changes to Twitch and the fact that I have the attention span of a dead cat. The best way to support the channel is via Patreon. There are links below to the Patreon. And for $2 a month, you can get involved with the Discord. I'm regularly on there myself. There's a good community going on there. Apart from a couple of people that are cunts, you know who you are. But on the whole, the community is pretty damn good. Beyond that, subscribe to Pleasant Kenobi on YouTube. That's where most of the content goes up. And that's the best way to support me because it helps me get towards getting that silver plaque at 100k, which will make me feel like I've actually done something with my life for the last three years. And that's all of it, really. Um, so just kick back, relax, shoot some b-ball outside of a school. Couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I don't know why I went down that route. If you enjoy this, don't forget, Hit that subscribe or just follow if you can. And can I get some capital letter hype? Because we're about to get going. We're about to get started. If you type capital letter hype in the chat, one, it tantalizes my balls. I actually have electrodes strapped to my testicles and the word hype makes me get ever closer to that cum. But secondly, it also helps me to see in the chat how close this video bit is to being over and to how soon I need to get on my fucking, get on with it and get live. Will this loop? Will this be one of those things where it starts over again at the beginning and then people like, you're looping Vince in chat? Well, we're going to find out shortly, aren't we? Because this is the end of it. I, I, fi I finished talking. This is shorter than the old intro. If you've never seen the old intro, well, you're missing out. But you're here now and that's the main thing. Just rambling now. Just, just filling out a bit more time so that future me can, I don't know, finish taking a shit or whatever I'm doing. Getting a little soda pop. Getting a little discarded condom. You see, I'm, I'm referring back to things I've already said in this intro. Because that's how humour works. If you reference things that you said in the past. What else did I say? 
MPL, Pro, Capital Letter Hype. Oh fuck, it's about to loop, isn't it? Sup, cunts? Hi, I'm Vince, also known as Pleasant Kenobi. Okay, it looped, it looped. I was posting stories to Instagram and to uh, YouTube. Didn't even do a Facebook one. Didn't get time, chat. Didn't get time. I got my tea. Just had my protein bar. Just called Rob. Obviously, he never picks up first time. No, what are you doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. Vince. Cheers, my friend. Great content lately. Lots of good talking points and lots of dumb bitches getting really mad on social media, which is just additional content for free. <laughs> yes, I guess people do get mad uh, because I apparently hate free-to-play no, players right on Arena. Thank you for the sub, Sharpfire. 23 month streak is insane. Enjoy your bronze badge there, my friend. And Electric Tuba with a Prime. Uh, second new Prime today. That means someone subbed earlier no, today. No, right now. Impressing the heck out of me. I forgive you for looping. No idea. Your beautiful face is so lovely to see while at work. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Love it, the beautiful face. So we're into a hype train. Hello, chat. Rob will, will be with us shortly. Oh, sorry, Philbo is right. It's Dr. Shardfire. They got a doctorate in... in. I was saying prostate no, checking. I don't right know now? why I went there. I don't know why I went there. The Dats Man. Time to welcome, meet the dream. Welcome. Oh, where's my fucking tuba? And by tuba, I mean bugle. <laughs> oh, there we go. Philbo is always here. Love it. Philbo is always here. He just wants to get shouted at. See, that's just Philbo's fetish. Time to shoot the shit and make some mana. We're gonna make so much mana. So much mana, chat. Oh, I meant to check my audio levels before I started today. It was one of my list of things that I did not do. Is there a hiss? Because if there's a hiss, I might turn my gain down. I am peaking slightly. So we're gonna turn that down. No, what are you doing right now? How about that? No, I'm still, still picking a little bit. I just bit. want to watch Vince read my message from Pi Cam and make lots of mana. <sighs> okay, if you requested it. Oh no! I need to turn the overheads off. They're too bright. Let's do that. It's gonna get. Oh, and I'll. There we go. Much better. Where's my Pi Cam? Oh my goodness, webcam! What are you doing? Let me just fix PyCam. PyCam is struggling today. God, you are overexposed. Can I configure you? I can. Ah! <laughs> it looked like I just died in some sort of like sixties fucking. Doctor Who villain, like, laser beam shit. Uh, I want to change the... It's not white buttons I want, is it? What makes this... Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> My wife just checked if I'm okay. Squeal. Yeah, I, I, I look like I was dying on the camera. So, sorry. Backlight comp. No. Uh, sharpness, gamma, hue, gain. Oh, it's gain, isn't it? That's what I want to turn down. No, what are you doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. What the fuck's going on with this camera? Thank you for the gifted sub, uh, Shardfire. That emo, Illy Scum, is very funny. I can't believe they got away with that, having like a literal, no, like, porn right meme. Now? Impressing the heck out of pie me. My, pie, pie me milk, daddy. <laughs> yeah, oh, exposure, that's what I'm looking for. There wasn't even an option for that on the fucking controls. It's a different screen. Where will we? Come on, exposure. Don't auto. Jeez. You've autoed a complete fucking... That has changed nothing. Nothing. Tra-la-la. Why can I not change this? No, what are you doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me.
No, what are you doing right now? Impressing that. Wow. Heck they, out of oh, Datsman, my friend. I appreciate you. Let me, uh. Datsman's gifted some subs too. Oh, that is not. Chasen, Chasen agent. The street. No, right Trauka, Mason, Impressing so smashing. Thank you, guys, man. I appreciate you so much, my friend. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Oh, his dad wants one of these. Oh, sub bomb. Oh, the no, sub bomb's making right me now? flatulent. Impressing the heck out of me. Oh, God, that's going to give me a headache if I keep doing that. I really need to stop. Uh, thank you for the sub from Blue Ink Alchemist Gifted to Gavin. No, you're doing right now. Impressing the heck I think we did gameplay to get hype. Yeah, I just need overexposed cameras that I'm going to deactivate and then reactivate. Oh, no. I should never have done that. Oh, my God. Know what you're doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. <laughs> Dab into the void. What the fuck is going on with this shit? Okay. There's no pie cam on stream this week. Okay, I'm sorry, chat. Somehow we broke it. We were ascending. We were ascending. We were ascending. We were ascending. We got fucked. Definitely not Pikachu, a regular. Gifting out the 51st gift sub to Admiral Blastoise, another regular. Names we love to see. You love to see it! Right then. We did fly too close to the sun. I wonder why that was. Oh, my lights are any darker. Now, I have my lights changed for filming some overhead gameplay. So I'm going to fiddle with those now. And hopefully they don't break. So let's go cold. Oh, I'm blue! Dabba dee dabba die! Uh, we won't be updating software right now. Not today, Satan. Let's go warmer. Let's go darker. Let's go a bit, bit warmer, a bit darker. Do I look? Do I look normal now, chat? Oh, there's a dab to fresh no, trim. Yeah, I got a haircut now. last week. Oh, baby! The heck Patters. What's this Patters. game? Welcome back, Patters. Fucking hell! I do, I, I do miss you from time to time, my friend. Oh, I think I just know how. Oh, I think no, I might just fix right now. Impressing the heck. Nope. <laughs> I've started playing Legacy because of your content. Why is this camera? Right, okay. I will not try and fix the Pi cam right now. That's a fool's errand. Okay, today, my friends, we are playing the wrong screen. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Never fuck with your OBS to record things, my friends. Know what you're doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. Oh, whoa! -ho -ho! Ye fucking ha! Know what you're doing <laughs> right now? I'm trying to fix Impressing all the things the I changed for recording for a video that should be out tomorrow, hopefully. Oh, fuck me in the mouth. Okay, <clears throat> let's read some people out. Know what you're doing right now? Hey, Impressing the it's heck Aeons. out of me. Ket KR, Cloudhawk, Samwise underscore 74, Matieto, Darzog 67, you doing right now? Angsty Panda, Impressing the heck out of me. CC Reswell, Snaky Eyes MTG, and Blue Ball. No, you doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. This is what you get for trying to make content. I shouldn't make content. I should not make content. You're right. You're completely... Correct on that note. Right, let's go ahead and go properties. No, what are you doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. I, th I thought I'd reset all the stuff, but evidently I have not. Back to the old 1440p. No, what are you doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. Ta da! Oh, Hawkfoss0000 joining us. Thank you so much, Kawitha, for taking us to a hype train level five, my friend. 
no, Welcome you back to the stream. Now. Dan Tazzle as Impressive. well with a prime. The third new sub today. I'm shouting because it's hype. Right, we're playing Jeweled Lotus and like fucking hell. Don't stop doing it, but also, I'm never going to no, get to the deck right deck because of my own tech Impressive and the generosity heck, of, I was going to say strangers, but I guess you're not strangers, right? We've got, a, we've got a good old parasitic relationship on the go. Am I right? Right. Thank you for the subs. Another sub bomb from Stone Age Dude Man. Give it to Spatial Jarl. Phobos de Moss. I'm, do, I'm doing an SMR for the last one. I'm doing um, um, uh, syllable claps for this one. It's a thing. I may have just made it up. It's Bip P. Burn Goat Matt. Handsome. There we go. Thanks for the legacy content and the SMR. I want to play more legacy. I mean, this week's going to be my week off, and I've fucking spent the day sorting shit out. No, you and I'm don't probably recording right tomorrow as well now. Impressing the heck But I want to... Wanna, For wanna... no strangers to love, you know the rules, and so do I, do I. <laughs> I just spat on my mic. That was awful, White Hot, but thank you. Cal, that was uh, wonderful. The robot is no stranger. Speaking of hype, President Pepe said, there's a newest secret layer is a thing. <sighs> yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Well, that secret that wasn't new today, right? We heard about it like several days ago. It was on Friday because I made a video talking about... No, Thursday we learned about it, right? Because I made a video on the Friday, a short about it. What I... Does Prime subs not get love? Of course they do, Zonk. Did I miss you, my friend? Oh, I don't think the machine read you out. But thank you. There you go. I'm going to... Hang on, you're not even... No, that wasn't Zonk. Who said that? How did Prime... Poke Pope, I can see you're here. You've been here for two months. You may have just resubbed, but the machine did not tell me. But Poke Pope, I value you. I value you because you give me money. That's how this world works. We truly do live in a capitalist society. I know who Karl Marx is. Okay, I want to cut to Pi Cam now, but I can't. I know. I know who Karl Marx is. I am very smart. Oh, we got a fucking hype train level five. Keep the hype train going with some more, some more bitty booze whilst I explain what the fuck's going on. I'm also going to call Rob, because it's always good. My audio is quite the way off, said Philbo. Philbo, you just like winding me up. Just mute me my audio. Ta da da da. My audio seems fine, Phil, but what the fuck are you talking about? There is a... You can hear the fan of my computer slightly. God damn it, Phil, but why, why are you like this? Why won't you just stop? Fucking hell. Right, if Rob's here, I can start explaining the death to him. Oh, you mean, you mean between me and the mic? Right, yeah, yeah. Um, that is just what happens when you plug a DSLR into an old auto capture thing. Um, I mean, I'm playing in a team league of Warhammer and I made Space Wolves the second week in a row. This Space Wolf force this week looks a lot scarier than last week, though. Just seeing if Rob is coming. Oh no, I'm getting lots of fucking things happening. Okay. There we go. Rob appears to be online. Let's see if he's going to join us so I can explain the deck to him. Because he's going to need to explain to him as well. Because, yeah. Hello, Rob. And also, thank you, chat, for the hype chain. There's a, a dog in a, a hamster in a hat? I don't, I don't even know. But thank you, everybody who's been involved so far. Right. Another one. Another one. I really hope this deck pushes Jeweled Lotus to the absolute extreme cost RL, just to make magic seem like more of a farce. Right, let's turn Rob's <laughs> audio on. Rob, say hello to chat for me so I can see if they can hear you. Hello, chat. Can oh, you hear me? Your sound level, I think you're a little bit loud, so I'm going to turn you down on my end. Don't worry yourself. I'm going to put you down to okay. 110. Sounds like your gain's up. Cool. Okay, hello, Rob. Right, it's hello. time to talk through the deck, chat. We've been fucking about Did you share minutes. your screen? 
Oh, of course I can. That would help you understand what I'm saying. Absolutely. You've See, had... it's all right if I'm late, if you're fucking about for 20 well, minutes. Well, <laughs> you missed my webcam. My second cam isn't working for some reason. Well, it went super bright for no apparent reason, then stopped working. Um, and uh, also, I had changed some settings that I hadn't changed back from the recording, so I had to do that. And then we had loads of subs. It's been a good old time. It's been a good old time. Right. Cool, cool, cool. So what is this nonsense? This is, I'm calling it Run the Jewels. There are many names for this at the moment. Uh, money laundering seems to be one that I've seen a couple of times in the comments of Bosch and Roll's video today and on Twitter today as well. Um, some people are calling it Legacy Cube because it's a cube deck. That, it's a Legacy deck Legacy that uses cube. <laughs> Dublin Cube. Uh, there's no definitive name yet. The meme sort of arose late last week. I had a couple of people tweet it at me because they said it sounded like the sort of shit that I would play. Um, and also, people do remember me. Like when you search Jeweled Lotus, sometimes depending on your your uh, person, how Google perceives you as a person, you might get one of my Jeweled Lotus videos where I was mocking the card when it came out because I didn't think it was the breaking of EDH that some people did. So, a meme that arose midway through last week. Uh, some people were playing in the challenges. Some people have come up against it in games. I know Thraben and you said that they played it in like the fifth round of their games. And then Bosch and Roll put out a video today. I do recommend that anyone who likes. Um, legacy content, check out Bosch and Roll. Uh, he's not that meme but he is quite relaxed with how he plays. Um, he's very good at just communicating information uh, in a clear and concise way. His audio quality is nice. And that sounds like a very low bar, but in magic content sometimes, <laughs> that's actually <laughs> where you want to be. His videos are, are good, are very good. I watch them on occasion in the background, especially for, for today, for example. He's the only person who's really put a definitive list for this thing. So I've put courtesy of Bosch and Roll here, and he was talking to a person called um, Franklin, or Franklin F. Now, I don't know who this is, I believe um, Franklin is the originator of the deck. There were some Reddit posts about this where people were trying to find the deck list. The way it was happening, I'm giving a lot of context because it's quite exciting. The way people were talking about it, I thought this was another Pirate Stompy. For those that don't know, <laughs> Pirate Stompy was a deck where people were like, oh, has anyone got a list? I got beat by Pirates the other day, but they conceded on turn five, and uh, on round five. And what it was, was it was complete fucking bullshit. Um... It is complete fucking bullshit. And basically, um, a lot of people like um, uh, Jarvis Yu and uh, Julian Nub, then all just basically made up this deck as a meme, and then people started to brew decks, and it became a deck, but not a very good deck afterwards. So I thought when no one was posting lists about this and memeing about it, it, was, it wasn't a real thing. Then I've seen people have actually ran into it in, in videos, and Bosch and Roll played it today as well. I didn't see what his end score was. I only got to watch one or two of the rounds, because I was actually doing other stuff today. So, with all that context out of the way, Let's talk about the key interaction, and then we'll go into the rest of the deck. It's a slight edit of what Bosch played on his YouTube earlier today. So, our main interaction is obviously Lion's Eye Diamond. Uh, I'm sorry, Lion's Eye Diamond, sorry, Jeweled Lotus. Same magic card, really. Uh, Jeweled Lotus. <laughs> it, it cracks and it sacks to make three mana that can only be used to cast a commander. However, with Doubling Cube, which we have three copies of, Doubling Cube is a two-mana artifact that says three tap double the amount of mana of each type in your unspent mana you have. If you crack a Lotus, Jeweled Lotus, then activate Doubling Cube, it, gener it doubles the mana. The original three stays commander mana, but the new three does not. Okay? So my first impression was two-mana artifact, three-mana activation to double three mana to six. Seems fucking awful, right? But the real, like, key, um, like, uh, source for this... And by the way, if you all want uh, deck lists, you can... As Clam deck list, you can look at it closer as well. That's all set up for you today. Is Mystic Forge. And Echo of Aeons. Okay? So that's right. Stuff that's all come about in the last couple of years, because that's where we are in Magic now. Right? This is Legacy, but <laughs> fuck playing old cards, right? <laughs> Even our Lotus was printed last year. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking wild place. So, what we do is Mystic Forge allows us to play shit off the top of our deck, including doubling cubes, jeweled lotuses, a mox opals, lotus petals. So, we get to like try and generate huge amounts of um, momentum, velocity, as some people call it, uh, by playing stuff off of our library. And then, when we have like multiple lotuses, uh, we can crack them, we make the man of doubling cube, then we can cast Echo of Aeons to then re go again. And we're just trying to cycle through our deck very quickly. We're actually quite a glass cannon deck because we fold pretty fucking hard to some cards that see a small amount of play. So, so Force of Will is quite good against us. So that's yep. a problem. Yep. I, I don't think this deck is legit because if you are bad against Force, you're kind of bad against Legacy. Um, yeah. But the other thing is, normally if you're bad against Force, you, you are fast enough to be good against the decks that can beat up Force decks, like Thalia decks or Chalice decks. However, Thalia <laughs> and Chalice are both pretty fucking bad for us. We can bad Karn enough. a Chalice, so Chalice is only marginally bad, but any Thorn Thalia effect is fucking backbreaking. Collector Oof and um, Nullrod as well will absolutely fucking ruin us. 
So we have some pretty hard <laughs> counters. But but we should have games where if they don't have those things, they don't have a force, we get to echo on turn one off a lion's eye diamond after playing a petal on a jeweled lotus, refuel our hand, go soul land, play doubling cube, crack a wild things, activate doubling cube, um, uh, play a Khan or play an echo, and so on and so on. We can go into some sort of crazy, crazy lines. Um, I think Wasteland is okay against us mortality. I don't know if it wrecks us because uh, our lands aren't too important. Hence why I only play nine of them. Um, <laughs> so that's the deck. There was a Khan cycle. So hey, let's come to the things that I've changed a little bit. So I watched a couple of Bosch's games today and read a few like, Reddit posts about this. And there's basically the original version that people were saying existed was just four copies of Walking Blister. Now the problem is the deck has so many fucking terrible, terrible cards that break it. Having your win combi only for walking blisters now means that you're also dead to Pithing Needle or, or Sorcerer's Spyglass if they know what's going on. And Revoker too, right? I mean, like I said, this is a known entity being talked about on Reddit. So, people move to 4 Khan. However, that doesn't change you being dead to Needle main board. <laughs> so my argument is, play 4 Khan, uh, play th uh, at least one blister side. Yeah, I didn't actually change the side at all. And I've added a blister to the main and cut like a star for it. Yep. Um, other things, so Khan gives us our access to uh, the typical like utility stuff of ratchet bombs, bridges, stuff like that. We can obviously, uh, we can we can last lock them out. We can, this is the fun bit for our stream deck. We can try and go for the the, the number, the bingo card. Might not win a round, but maybe we can win one game with Death Star, uh, one game with that S-lock, uh, one game with a Walking Ballista. Um, the other things this deck has got is it's got Manifold Key. And Manifold Key basically... If we go Jeweled Lotus, uh, crack it, activate cube of our lands or petals, uh, double our mana, use one of the mana we use the double to untap the doubling cube with Manifold Key. No, no, we're still not there. We still need another Lotus or another Lion's Eye. It is uh, going to be a confusing deck. I should have practiced with it before we played, but I was busy doing other shit. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at. Any questions, Rob? Well, we're, it's once again we'll be learning as we go, which is how we play our best magic. So I'm looking forward to this uh, two-three league. <laughs> right, right. Uh, you are more confident than I. I'm, I'm probably expecting a zero-five with the occasional win. The occasional win. It is 100 percent a variant of Echo Rayons. There's a couple of seven chats. No, you're doing right now. Um, Helm of Awakening. Impressing the heck. the cards. Me, I suppose cost one less. And then Mesmeric Orb is an interesting one. When we unlike untap our Mystic Forge with a Manifold Key or something, we can like get rid of a land on top and stuff. It's like a weird synergistic piece and stuff like that. Uh, thank you for giving the sub, Bobby O, to Loke-C. Loke-C. Do we hard mulligan for Khan, Forge, or Echo? Pretty much, I think so. I'm going to take it as it goes. Like, there might be just hands where we just want to be able to Echo and go from there. Um, yeah, we're going to fumble our way through it. Like I said, I hadn't had a chance to practice with it, but practice is for cowards. And people that want to win their leagues. Uh, right, <laughs> in we go. $10. Shut away. <laughs> right, how are you today, Rob? I am very well, thank you. I've, uh, I had Wednesday, Thursday, Friday off work, so I've had a very long weekend. And, yeah, my first day back today, and it wasn't as horrendously busy as I thought it was going to be, so oh, that's kids. nice. Okay. Nice to see that some of the management elements we've put in our business has uh, I've started to work, so I don't have to come back to a pile of shit and that I get good. back to work. So that's nice. Um, yeah, it's all good. How, are you, how have you been today? What have you been up to? Um, so my plan was to, because I spent loads of time editing these videos that aren't out yet last week. So I was like, oh, Monday, Tuesday, maybe even Wednesday, I'm just going to take them off and do some modeling and catch up with some Warhammer stuff and be, be chill. Because I also had the commitments over the weekend as well. And commitments all the evenings of this week as well. So I was like, I'll take some time off. And then like, um, Seth did his video on the arena economy yesterday. I watched it, had strong opinions that I wanted to say. So then I had to make that. And then there was just loads of admin shit to sort out with like prizes for the tournament stuff and the Discord and setting up stream so yeah i ended up not actually really having it i took an hour to build a bloodthirster so that was nice that was my one <laughs> reward hopefully i got some stuff to do tomorrow some recording to do and then once that's done i can spend the rest of the day just painting it's gonna be lovely but i also hey. might record my painting well before a video so then it's just back to content creation again <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I might, I might paint rakdos tomorrow which i'm excited Ooh, i'm gonna film the whole exciting. thing so i'm gonna i'm gonna film the unboxing of it um, I'm going to really cut it all down to like a 10 minute video or whatever. Film me uh, scraping with mold lines, painting it. Talking about how painting is done. Um, it is a Rakdos. I'll show you this. It's, it's so cool. Model. If you haven't seen this yet, it's so cool. It is literally an unpainted Rakdos model by WizKids. Now, WizKids, honestly, I'll be I'll be very honest about this. And I, I talked to WizKids and they're sending me some other stuff after I tweeted about this now, which is lovely of them. But I've not been a big fan of WizKids models in the past. But this one being all unpainted means that you can you can do a lot of the work that 
I think is not great on the other ones because they're like factory painted. Um, the interesting thing is I bought this thinking it's not big enough to be a Bloodthirster, which is the £77 or £80 like greater demon you get for Chaos in, in, in 40k. And this was, by the way, this is £14 at my game store. Look at the amount of plastic you get for that. Look at this. Right? So, so I thought it was too small to be a Bloodthirster, too big to be a demon prince proxy in 40k. However, however, I built the Bloodthirster today as part of the video. I want to be able to do a size comparison. I want to get the Bloodthirster painted before we get to play. Um, to play? Paint. But it's going to be in the video. Here's a Bloodthirster that I built today. Uh, this was a this was seventy seven pounds with a discount at my local store. Not discount especially for me, but what they do. This is fourteen pounds. I actually think they are the same size. <laughs> so when when people like me go, oh, the Wiz Kids models just aren't the same quality as GW. No, they're not. But they are less than like what twenty less than twenty five percent the fucking cost. It is wild the price price discrepancy. So if you can do undo a lot of the, the weakness you see in the painting, I'll talk about this more in the video, of course. I think this is actually a very good value proposition. Now, I know some people are just like, whatever, I want the best thing possible. And that is the like incredible technology that GW have for like injection molding and stuff. And this is an old model. It's like four or five years old, I think. Question. Go on. Was that model several separate pieces? Oh, yeah, I had to build this. Thing. It took me over an hour to build it. Right. So if Rakdos is like one whole thing, isn't he going to be a bug well, of paint? actually two whole things. Huh? Um, no, but you, you, um, you, uh, you stick it together before you paint it, Rob. Right. Well, I could have kept the arm off, like my Magnus, chat, we will play this game, I'm just going to talk about this one quickly. <laughs> um, my Magnus has no armor on him right now, because hopefully I'll go add to painting him this week, and then once he's painted up, I can then paint the armor panels separately, and then glue them over the top to everyone make sure his skin looks good, so they go on, like, his shoulders and stuff. Um, but no, no, you, you, you do, you, you can sub-assemble, like, his wings aren't attached right now. Yeah. Um, you can't see any of this, Rob, obviously. I, I'm, I'm looking on the screen. Oh, okay. Okay. A naked Magnus. Some people do keep him naked. Right, here we fucking go. We've won the die roll. That is good. Um. Right. Uh, this has everything we need. I assume. Incorrect. Incorrect. <laughs> if it had a Khan, an Echo, or a Walking Ballista, we'd probably be pretty good. Oh, there's an Omnath model coming out from WizKids, by the way, chat. I'm hoping they've... This is like they sent me some D&D goodies, so hopefully I'll... Um, oh, D&D stuff, so I might be able to paint an Omnath. Um, it's close to being good, but it's just not. I'm going to have to admit really Yeah, we'll just play all those things and then nothing will Pass to them. They'll play like a fucking Thalia, and then we'll be like, ah, uh, yeah. Okay, Mystic Forge, there we go. We need that. Okay. So, I think... Ah, this is pretty good. I'm going to keep this. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, this seems cool. We're, we're fast. We've got... We can dig. Yeah, that's... So, Electrotube has got the, got an on point there. So, the deck is almost... Do, like, you know, I've talked about how prison decks are like 50% mana. This deck is like yeah. 70, 80% mana. So, you kind <laughs> of need to just have these. Okay, we're going to keep this. We're going to okay. bottom... Helm? Yeah, Helm doesn't do a whole lot for our hand. Not, we you know, not with because we've got the... Uh, so much man. But then again, yeah, neither does the Jeweled Lotus without a doubling cube. So we go Crystal Vein, Petal. Crack the Crystal Vein, Grim Monolith, play Mystic Forge off the Petal, want this, Lion's Eye, find stuff on top. Okay, let's put this on the bottom. If we find, like... Literally stars and spheres on the top, then we're going to be very sad we, we bottomed that, I guess. Yeah. But also, we can't always bottom and side out George Lotus, otherwise we're not really... Playing what we came to play, yeah. so... Right, let's go right. with this. This. Well, yeah, we'll find out if they're a blue deck when they force our Mystic Forge or not, because there's no way in hell they let it resolve. Um, I guess we play around main deck Mind Break Traps by playing our Valuable Spell... Early. Oh no. What's my boat trap? Is it three or four spells that makes my boat tra trap come online? No idea. Okay. No force of will. Okay. Get rid of the ancient tomb. What do we find? A mystic forge. Lovely. Okay. Just cast a load of shit. Past turn. So our Lion's Eye Diamond will allow us to cast 
spheres and stars off the top of our library. Yep. We might want to just mill that Mystic Forge off our library and upkeep anyway, so we're drawing something else. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to need it. And now it's very unlikely they're going to blow it up. Elves. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, hopefully they don't know what's going on. They name Mystic Forge. If they name Khan or Walking Blister, then they've obviously nullified a large portion of our deck. Come on, chat. What would you name here? Please name Khan. Please name Khan. Please name Khan. <laughs> oh. Okay, they've gone for Mystic Forge, which is reasonable. Mm hmm. So we draw the Forge. Yep. We will not be casting said Forge. I mean, all of chat would name Khan because they've seen how it would work, right? So. This is fine because we can Lion's Eye. Get yeah, I'm the, thinking we, we kind of just have to. Yeah. yeah. Three blue. A lion's eye diamond. So we can still play things off our top of Mystic Forge. This only undoes half of the damage of Mystic Forge. Exactly, and we can draw off the off the spear okay. as well. Yeah, so that digs us through a thing. The Quacks. Yeah. There's a con. Okay. We can't so we can cast draw it, it this turn. We're but we could draw it We off. are going to draw it. Yeah, definitely going to draw it. Hopefully we find a... No, there's nothing we can draw that like. It's not a terrible. There's thing. an echo. That's good. That is not terrible either. If I knew we could mill it with this and then cast it, we'd actually be having a real fun time. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fuck. I mean four to untap this and we only have three. <laughs> Ugh, close but no cigar. Okay. Oh, Forge doesn't mill. Sorry, thank you, fellow gaming. You're completely right. Exiles. Yeah, okay, so we couldn't do that. So actually, yeah, they haven't they haven't hampered us at all. Well, that's not true. They have hampered us by one card. God, that would be busted, wouldn't it, if it milled, actually? That'd make it even stronger. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell. Mm -hmm. No, my taking my shot off. I've, I've learnt about it now. I've learnt about it now. So I think they're going to be like Turbo Depths or something with Mainboard Needles. Okay, that's not that's not a Green Suns for two, so it's probably good for us. Elvish Reclaimer. Okay. Okay. They're giving us plenty of time to set up and sort our shit out, so that's good. That's Interesting. unfortunate. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yeah, I would much rather find like a lion's eye diamond, um, or just something to help us cast this Khan. Yeah, like a petal or. This jeweled lettuce is looking good. Says so I'm doing much off. Yeah, if this was, if this was Helm's Awakening, we could have cast the Khan. I don't know if we would have been able to cast the Helm at any point. I don't think we would have been able to. Uh, so, although I do think keeping Helm of the Jeweled Lotus would have been better, at this point it still wouldn't have mattered. Because, no, we would be able to cast the Helm last turn when we had that mana. No, it wouldn't have, because it comes from Lion's Eye Diamond. So they are going to be able to get a Dark Deaths or a Stage this turn. Looks like they're a Mono Green Post deck. Oh, okay, this... Well, they could still be Deaths, but yeah, it is weird. No, I, I'm still saying Turbo Deaths. I'm still saying Turbo Deaths. Because you, you, they could run Needle as well to name Wasteland, right, JDB? They, both those decks can run main, main deck Needle for that reason. Could have played our hand with the Helm, could we? Crystal Vein to Helm. I think we could have done. Then we could have gone Lotus into Grim Monolith for one, play the Mystic Four. Or maybe we could have done, actually. Maybe we should have kept Helm. Maybe. Okay, right. Cool. Deeper? Deeper? Not not deep enough. <laughs> uh... Okay. <laughs> it's, it was glowing. I'm thinking of Arena where it's like, would you like to do this? Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Now weaving them all the time. So they, are, they are post. 
Okay. Will they keep on tap? No, plus they've got no attack. They have no mana to go get another post. If only we had a commander, yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. There we this. go. Right. Make a blue cast this. Yep. Aha. We cannot cast that now because we don't have the mana. Not right now, but we can echo no, now. No, we definitely, we 100% echo. And around we go again. Right, so, Lion's Eye Diamond. We need to get the cube down. We do. So are we right? So we're probably gonna, what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna go ancient tomb. We're gonna play the cube. I'm gonna crack my jeweled lotus, my jeweled lotus, my lion's eye diamond, and then we're gonna double it all. Then we're gonna play the sphere and then start going off off of the forge. I'd love to play yeah. this calm, but I don't think we can. No, I don't think we can. And we don't have the mana because I played that first sphere, which may be greedy to play this mana for cube, which is a shame. So if we get a sphere. You crack LED for blue, cast it off the top for one, untap monolith and still cast echo here, just for reference. No, I can't. No, we haven't got echo here. I think I think this is behind. Okay, we ignore chat, because chat are gonna have a thousand suggestions that are probably all wrong. No offense, chat. No offense. So we're okay, so blue, blue, blue. Yeah. So you have to have mana in your pool for doubling cube. Is that correct? Yeah. So blue. So we're gonna make six mana out of doubling cube, essentially. Doubling okay, so cube. So now we've got six mana off doubling cube. Play the star. We have six commander mana as well. <laughs> so now we're trying to find a echo and a lion's eye, really. Okay, that's some good shit. That's good. But what do we, how much do we play I'm it for? Gonna... Or do you want to draw through it? I'm going to draw, gonna draw through it, yeah, because we get a mana back from this. Yep. Ha ha ha! Mr. Khan. Everybody loves a Khan. I'm going to, I'm going to, hang on. We keep going. We're going to, mm, we want to draw. Mm. We definitely yeah. want Khan. Yeah, so we're going to draw, we can draw it or play it, so it doesn't matter, right? So we're going to, we're going to draw first to see one more card deeper. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Why does Sphere not give us a mana? It doesn't, it only gives you, it, it, it's neutral, isn't it? You spend one, you get one back. Yeah, so we spent one of our six and got, didn't get one back. Right? Chat, am I missing it? We had six, I spent one and didn't get one back. Is there someone on board that I'm missing? We played a sphere. Oh, did I? Pl oh, I played a sphere. I cast yep. a sphere. I didn't activate. Okay, so this one is okay. uh, this is free. So I play blue. Yep. Get blue. blue. Right. Oh, of course. Now we've got a land. So we've got sea traitors. We can't do anything with sea traitors. No. So we're going to play Khan. We'll have access to two mana. Khan for a coating because we're up against cloud post, I guess. Or just go for death star. We can't read death star them here. I think, yeah, I think coating the cloud post would keep them down. And then they attack Khan, then we can't light us next turn. We just light us now. We can't light us now, we have the mana to light us now. Hmm. Um, yeah, we get liquid metal coating, I think. No, they're not on Death's plan, they're on Cloudpost plan. So we're going to cast this for four. Down tick. This forces them to threaten as well, so we can't lattice lock them.
I don't know why everyone's so obsessed with our lattice, because we can't lattice, right? Two, four... Yeah, we can't. Oh, we do have the mana for it next turn. So we could have animated Forge to block. Hmm, okay. Could have done that. Let's go Liquid Metal Coating. Let's cast it. Lose our six commander mana. Oh. Damn. <laughs> that was fun. That was yeah, that was a turn. That was that was definitely a turn. <laughs> and then we're gonna port them now with this. So if they play in another cloud post, they don't get anything from it. Just gonna sap the cloud post for the reclaimer. Like the right thing to do here. <clears throat> that didn't do anything, and I have no idea why they just did that. Because <laughs> that just that just cost them two lands instead of one. That was categorically not. I think they thought they're not to. I'm not mocking my opponent here. I think they thought they were next leveling and they've probably done that and then gone like, oh fuck, that was not the. Even with post in hand, doesn't matter because it's tapped. That was not to the line. You can untap Grin Monolith to, with Manifold Key. Yeah, I'm aware. Oh, to net a mana, I see. So we should have played the Manifold Key before. Yeah, okay. Thank you. That's a good shout. That's a good shout. I actually hadn't even thought about it. Okay, so we drew it to Air Traders. We can, so we can... So we play City Traders. We make... We've got one, two, three, four, five. So, so we, we can make, make five. Seven. We tap for Six, three. Whatever. It doubles the... F so we make... Six. Four. Five. Play three. It just doubles the two. Because it only doubles what's left in the pool. All right, okay. Um, so we just start blowing up their cloud post with Khan. Make a walking ballista. Yeah, that's as simple as yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Sometimes the Occam's razor. We can go get something, but it doesn't do a whole lot. No, let's just uh, blow this up from baby ballista. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Play ballista for two. Bye, Turn Needle into a creature and kill it with Ballista, says Armageddon. Um, that is a possibility. I'd rather kill their Cloud Post, I think. Because like, if they play if they play a Glimmer Post here, they go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana, and they just play a Titan. Yeah, they can get really out of control really quickly if we don't keep an eye on their land, so I feel like that's probably the right play. This puts Khan up to 4 as well, and then we as one more land to Lattice. Yep. Because we, we were 1 mana off Latticing. We could have last with that. Yeah, maybe we should have played Khan last turn up, tipped on the Mystic Forge. But then again, it could be that they untapped, played a Glimmer Post. No, they still wouldn't have the Mother's Titan. They've got a crop rotation. Okay. Interesting. They just get another post, I guess. I think if they get a post here, we uptick the Khan onto the needle and kill it with Ballista. And then see if we can exile this Echo and see what happens from there. Just mm -hmm. I presume they've got toolbox of lands there. Yeah, so, so maybe they'll, a blasting they'll, they'll station. Have, they'll have, they'll have four cloud posts, four glimmer posts, then they'll have an Aya Vugin. They might have a Blast Zone, that would make sense. Um, I don't think they'll have... They might have Field of the Dead. Uh, I don't know what cloud post compositions even look like these days. But they will have some form of utility lands. Yeah, I'm aware the Reclaimers come, come three fours. Thank you, chat. I am aware, but I appreciate you giving me the heads up. Vesuva. Copying our mm -hmm. city of Asian Tomb. Okay, cool. Okay, interesting. They re will cast Titan next turn.
Know what you're doing right now? Impressing the heck out of me. Thanks for driving my jeweled lotus up in value. <laughs> that, no worries, Steve Dell. It wasn't me. Okay, so we'll draw that next turn. If they sack a land with one reclaiming, the other reclaiming its bit. We can block the ballista to keep Khan alive. Here comes a Titan. Yep, they could have got more value by rotating in response to the Khan, 100%. But thanks for the sub, Steve Dale, 1986. I will continue to drive up all of these staples that I obviously have many copies of, like like everyone seems to believe I do. <laughs> I can turn the overheads back on to brighten up the room a little bit. Might tilt this away from me a bit as well. Know what you're doing right now? Super Giraffe. Impressing the heck out of me. Okay, so they did that. Hoping to draw a Titan. Didn't draw a Titan. So now they're once upon a time. Thank you, Super Giraffe, for the fourth new sub today. Welcome, welcome with the Prime. If you've got a Twitch Prime, so if you've got Amazon Prime Kids, you get a free Prime subscription. You can subscribe. You can give me some fucking money. I mean, you don't have to. It's just a thing you can do if you fancy it. There is no obligation. Prime Evil Titan in hand. They have played a land for the turn because they won three forests before. So they're trying next turn. Yep. They can attack with one sack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Expedition map, sure. Thousand copies of Didgeridoo. Yeah, if only. I might open some more Digimon cards on stream soon, kids. Digimon video this week and then go some more. I enjoyed cracking packs the other day. It's fun. Buy singles, obviously. I, I cracked, what was it, like 40 Strix... No, 30 Strix Asian packs across different versions of them and didn't get the bloody mythic that I wanted for touch over. Buy singles. Buy singles. <laughs> what, uh, what were you trying to get for touch the, over? The nine mana woman that's a four mana sorcerer on the other side. Um, I've just ordered one. Oh, oh yeah, I know, yeah. Oh, I was playing. Um, I was playing EDH the other day, and it was uh, Cody the the book thing. Yep, yep. Her in that was just nuts. Absolutely nuts. What a crazy Jadzi, man. That's it. I like Jadzi because the idea is that I can. Um, uh, the, the, her sorcery mode is very good in touch over because you you can draw it during a mad turn and then cast it to put everything you had into play. Um, and then obviously you can discard one land to the bin if you've got like a land from trigger. Just it, it, it has other half that's good. And then she's also got another mode where she's just a big old fucking plenty of cards on top of your library for free or draw cards, right? Like, yeah, it's yeah. just, yeah. Okay, I think we let this walking ballista die to save Khan. Because I don't want, well, if they crop retain. Well, we can, they haven't got trample, I think. Can we block and shoot? No, I'm saying if we don't, if we keep rocking ballista alive, we can, like, next turn, if we generate tons of mana, we can just pump it into it. But we probably just want to go with Khan grabbing a ballista if we do that anyway. So we're going to block here. If they crop rotate, can't take three and survive. No, there's no magic online bug, everybody. Like, people keeps asking this. So here's a, here's a heads up, right? So firstly, to explain Resented Lotus, the mana that is double by doubling cube does not have the restriction. Simple as that. So you turn three into six, three is commander, three is normal. So you need to have more than just the initial three going in. But also, if you're playing a deck that is via a bug on Modo, that's a very good way of getting your account suspended or banned. You cannot abuse, just going to, public service announcement, you cannot abuse bugs on Magic Online. It's literally in terms of service. When people were doing it with one of the Will of the Council oh, cards. What deck was it? Yeah, so yeah. There was Will of the Council card when Conspiracy came out. Uh, first conspiracy, or second, whichever one had one of the cancer in it, that just didn't let your opponent pick. They just timed out if you cast it. It was three mana or four mana in blue. You opponent <laughs> loses the game, and people were five owing leagues with this. Um, some people got banned and suspended for it, and for good fucking reason too. Yeah, absolutely. That is not the way you play. And and you you couldn't do that in real life, so yeah. you shouldn't be able to do it um, on Magic Online. But, so there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Just want to make sure people know that. Because obviously you think that's what everyone's doing. It's just not the case at all. It's not the case at all. Orb. That is a thing we don't think we need. Oh. We can exile it. Hmm. 
So we can play Helm and then play Orb for one. Hmm. I mean, was it, if, if we're trying to find our other two Aeons, or are we just trying to win with card? Like, what we what's the plan? We're trying to generate mana. We don't need the Orb. But I'm scared we now do this and we find a land on top. An Orb allows us to mill that with the Grim Monolith. Also, playing Orb allows them to untap and mill and turn these on. Yeah, which would be bad. Um, we're going to time out every round because this deck is hard. Um, okay, let's exile top card. Ugh. No, abusing bugs. Oh, uh, no, you're right. Abusing bugs is not cash money. You are correct. Helm of Awakening. Guess we deploy in Snaring Bridge? Yeah, I guess so. We'll just say, buy us a million, just, million just years. fucking dirtling. Dirtling as hard <laughs> as we possibly can. Jeez. Um... I just realised I fucked this up. Rob, we could have played this on top and got deeper. <sighs> look at look, see. Oh, I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> oh, that would have been. Oh, we could have cast that as well, Rob. Damn it! Oh my damn god! It, damn it, damn it. No. Okay. Anyway. It's okay. Deck is hard. Deck is really hard. I forgot we had a helm. Deeper. So I had to pull Astoys. Right. In upkeep, we're gonna port them. I Meaning, if they miss a land drop, they don't get a calm. A Khan? A Titan, sorry. Just going to go and refresh my water. Of course, I'll be right of course. back. So, chat, their out to the bridge is to cast a Nulamok, I would believe. Draw a forge, play a pattern. Play a monolith. Play a monolith. Float a blue, play a mox opal. Float a blue, play a Mox Opal. Uh, play a Mon... I think we're doing it, chat. I think we're doing it. Play this for free because of the helm. Hit a land on top. We're going to draw said land for one mana. Play a City of Traitors. Lose the other City of Traitors. Activate Forge. Cast the Jeweled Lotus. Okay, I'm back. We're popping off, Rob. You stepped away at literally the wrong time. <laughs> we are going actually wild right now. Okay, um, okay. I've I've cast everything you can see here. It's going yep. pretty well. You're looking looking good. Look at this, chat. Look at this. Okay, I want to draw that. I don't have an egg. Shit. That is frustrating. So, what can I do? 
I don't think we can pop off this turn. So I'm going to have to go to put all this matter in my pool. Let's go blue, 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 blue. Hope it's not a land on, on top of my library here. Let's do all this. Let's double our mana. Should have set up for next turn, really. Should have set up for next turn. Um... Oh, we can untap our Mystic Forge. We've got like a million mana going on right now. Um, blue, double and cube. Go on. Oh, no, I'm clicking the wrong field. My bad. 30 mana, <laughs> 6 for that. Um, we're then going to untap our Mystic Forge so we can mill this deck of Aeons. We're trying to hit another Khan, I think is where we're at now. Have any cards to hit? Yeah, we've got three more, haven't we? Goodbye, Echo. Cool. Star. Well, so now we can get whatever's on top of our library with this. Another doubling cube. Because we want to go Khan into Death Star and then kill them. Yeah. Still doesn't mill it, Exiles. I, I'm fully aware, Mark. I appreciate you, Mark. I'm fully aware. Never said it milled. We're past that now. I'm getting off the top of my library so we don't. Fuck it. Oh, God. God damn it. Go away, Echo. Um, <laughs> untap this again. Uh, pay one life. We're so low on life as well. Get rid of this Echo. Just need a Khan. That's not a Khan. Um, Get it off the top. <laughs> why not draw? Oh, I should have drawn that. Yeah, now we have the star. I forgot we had the star. That was a punt. This. These. <laughs> <laughs> this come on card come on card that's not a card uh, that's not a card either this we have nine cards left in our library we have other cards right How are you sure we have other cards <laughs> did i we haven't used any other cards right i'm almost certain we have another card in our deck We'll find out one way or the other. Problem is if we hit Actually, Khan, no, we won't. Because... If we hit Khan too late, oh, Rob, right. we can't cast any more spells and we can't actually aid yeah. for them. Exactly. We are in a really bad spot now. <laughs> what is the likelihood of them all being in the bottom seven, chat? Very low. Very, very low. We don't need we don't need forges, we just need a Khan to get a ballista or an Aether Flux. Way! Okay, right. Khan. Oh, that was close. We cancel. I'm going to make a little mana before I cast this Khan with my doubling. So I'm going to just dump all of my... you need to draw my... it for you, Catherine. No, no, I can cast it off of um, Mystic Forge. Just colourless spells, right? Okay. Artifact spells no, you artifact and colourless spells. Color spells. Yeah. So blue, 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 cancel. Don't want to deck myself. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing here. All of this, all of this, all of this. Double my mana. Untap this doubling cube. We're going to time out on our second game, but we're going to win our first one. We're going to double one more time. We have so much mana. I'm going to time out uh, clicking. We have over 100 mana now. Cast a Khan. Find a Helm. How many spells have we cast this turn? Uh, don't know. Doesn't I'm going to try and Death Star them because it's quicker. I yeah, don't I even know if I physically can. <laughs> would I just cast ability? I would. Let's grab a Death Star. Let's cast this helm for one. No, do we need to oh, cast Oh, we need to cast the Death Star first. Whoopsie daisy. <sighs> Magic is okay. Hard. There's our other car. We'll be okay. Aether Flux Reservoir. Mark the punts up, chat. Khan. Gain some number of life. I don't know how much. Oh, we got a 29. How much do we need to, to, to Death Star them? 50. Okay, got to cast another spell then. Let's grab something out of our sideboard with this card. <laughs> uh, yep, let's go and grab... Literally anything. Yep. 
There's another card in our deck as well, so we should be able to grab another spell. This is wild and a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> grab Lattice. Cast Lattice. We've got four minutes on the clock, chat. Go to how much life? This might be enough. 56. 56. There you go. Right. There we go. Boom headshot. On to game two with four minutes on the clock. And this deck, as you can tell, is a bit of a Donald Duck. Oh, that was fun. I don't even give a shit if I lose. That was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just play the whole deck. Oh, that was good. Rob's like, I'm going to get a drink. I'm like, Rob, come. I'm like shaking. Rob, help. I'm going off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, don't, I, I need to put to Slayer's what on my soundboard. There we go. The bomb has been planted. Oh, kaboom. Our opponent's probably just happy they're going to get a win because we're not going to beat them in the second one. So, chat, how do we feel about that game? Because that was fun, right? I actually think we would have probably killed them a lot earlier if we just kept the helm. Well, this is how we learn. So. Oh, that was actually one of my favourite matches of Legacy we've played in quite a while because it was it was <laughs> like it was like looking for a hole in the dark. I'm trying to think how I can make this dirtier, but I couldn't think of the right words. It's like trying to finger someone in the dark. That's also not very poetic. I can do better than that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too tired for this shit. I'm too tired for this shit. You know those, you know those like those like um pickup artist men who are like the clit isn't real. You should never go down on a woman. Don't be a beta or whatever. It's it's like them trying to find the clitoris. That's what it is. <laughs> there you go. Oh fucking hell. Seven out of ten would tron again. Yeah, it was, I don't know if that was that tronny, honestly. <laughs> I can't believe three of our four cards were in our bottom seven cards. That's crazy, isn't it? So the punts, the, the major punts were not keeping helm at the beginning. Yeah. But we learned from that. Also, me forgetting that I just played the star, so I could have drawn the fourth echo, which would have shuffled our whole graveyard back in, which would have made the whole process a little bit, a little bit easier. Uh, instead, I milled our fourth echo and we're struggling. Okay. Right. It's got a Khan. Well, will be. Sure. Yeah. Khan plus monoliths. That's gas. Turns their maps off. If we go turn one map and then we go turn one Khan, we're like, sorry, buddy. We've got Khans and we've got Mystic Forges. What more could you want? Actually, I wonder if we go... Well, we fight. If they go turn one map, we go turn one Khan. If we, if they go... If they don't go turn one map, we go turn one Forge, right? Because Forge will dig us into more mana. Yeah. Are we not one mana short? We got Ancient Tomb, Grim Monolith, um, Tap Grim Monolith, Make Grim Monolith, and then we have four mana. Ah, right. One left over from first Grim and three from yep. second one. Yep. It does screw us on going. That's why I'd prefer to go Forge. Yeah. Because, yeah, we have to then ride that card all the way. To oh, yeah. This, that's a cool way to be Scott Point, Rob. This is a speed run now. This is like uh, <laughs> all the shit that, that John's into. <laughs> right, here we go. F6 for value. What have you got for us, opponent? Once upon a time. Once upon a time, sure. Forest. Finds a forest. Plays a forest. Plays a Elvish Reclaimer. So we're going to go turn one Elvish. Um, Mystic, Mystic Forge. Then. Okay, we're going to go Ancient Tomb. Tap it, Grim Monolith. Tap it, Grim Monolith. Tap it. Follow me. Mystic Forge. Finding. Opal? No, I missed it for Okay. We're probably going to mill that in our upkeep. XR. Yes, need to keep saying that. Yeah, mill so into the other chat zone. Mill. Yeah, other, otherwise mill, uh, Mark will pull me up on it in chat, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Can't we just sit on a liquid metal coat for 40 turns? Ammo Blast Toys, we have less than four minutes on the clock. No, we cannot do that. <laughs> Misty Rainforest for our opponent. No attacks, they had a cloudburst on our inset. 
Mm-hmm. So we're going to mill this now. And that gives us a mill and upkeep if this is a terrible card as well. Yep. Makes sense. I it's guess we card. draw that, because we want to find Hell yeah. of Awakening on top, really, ideally. We find that, which is not terrible, but not good. Can put it in hand with Star? Maybe? No, I think we want to Mesmeric Orbit into the bin. Oh, that's a good call. Just want to go Mesmeric Orb. And then a couple of stars and then pass. Yeah. Yeah, chat. Mobs Miracle is gas. Yeah, if you add some deck list to White Hot, you'll you'll get a deck list. Or deck. Got both of them covered. Force of Vigor. Oh, shit! Okay. Holy moly. Okay, in which case we do not want to draw that echo anymore. No, we do not. Find a jeweled lotus. Can't cast it because we don't have priority. Lose our forge. Uh, Chromatic star resolves. Chromatic star. The deck's a little bit expensive. Um, Grim Monolith and Citrus Raiders are not cheap. Um, I'm going to hazard the guesses the deck is over $3,000 RL. Maybe even four. Yeah. I own no Grim Monoliths RL. Oh, and Lion's Eye Diamond. Let's not forget about Lion's Eye Diamond. I own one proxy. I have one gold-bordered Grim Monolith. That's still... Aren't they... I'd look up. I think they're like $100 or something stupid now. Like, all the gold border stuff spiking, because people will play with proxies as long as they're official proxies. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> crazy. They're also, like, legal in some versions of old school, I think, and, like, Canlander and stuff. Hmm. Don't quote me on that. They're legal in some formats. Which ones I don't fucking know. Monolith at 350 each. Oh no, incoming collector oof. Oh! Ba -da -ba -ba. <laughs> okay. We'll get him next time. Okay, let's try again. Could bring in a chain of vapors, but I'm no coward. <laughs> We're going for the turn one kill. Uh, uh, seven and a half thousand dollars by goldfish is that standard to be fair though chat you could just i don't know write on some bits of paper and play i don't fucking care we're going to do a legacy webcam paper league on my discord for the next magic event and it's going to be complete proxy allowed so as long as your opponent can see or know what your cards do i don't give a fuck the only consideration oh. is that people need to not make their cards too thick from having like paper in the sleeve of the card mm-hmm <laughs> Uh, Cal, there's a lot of options that we go for. So I was considering today going really off the beaten track and going into a, uh, a, a, a NASA Echoes variant because there is a Mystic mm. Forge variant of that deck as well. Um, mm. So you are not wrong. I uh, think this is this is un. It might just be that the Jeweled Lotus version of this deck is worse than the the Echo one. Honestly, the Echo NASA one. Okay, um, mulligan this. Yeah, we need one of our action cards. I thought mm. there's an action card in here because they all look the same, but there's yeah. Not. <laughs> Don't want that. Go again. Oh no! I'm gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna put two back. I'm gonna put a petal back. I'm gonna put a petal back. I'm gonna play a walking ballista and just see if we can get there with it in yeah. less than three minutes. <laughs> uh, ancient tomb. Um, the helm. Helm, yeah. Free chromatic sphere. Free chromatic sphere, yeah. Pass the turn. Over to you, opponent. This gonna uh, elvish spirit got out of collector eve. <laughs> Yes, there is, dude, man. I, I've got there's, there's a there's a I still an open room on the Discord, which is um feedback for the last event. Um, there's a um, lot of feedback though. I, I was reading it and then I because I fell behind with it, I now can't catch up with it because it's just a lot of feedback. Um, but the, what I floated the idea of was full proxy allowed legacy webcam for this one. Um, okay, petal. This for one, and then add this. So we can play this for like a weird number, can't we? Five. And then this. X is three. There we go. Yep. Pew. 
We're going to kill him with a 1-1, one, one. Rob. You ready? Let's do it. Over to your opponent. You can handle it. <clears throat> Fucking hell, the fuck shout. This is a 19 turn clock, because you can ping them at the end. <laughs> oh, you shitter. Do they name the Ballista here out of fear, or do they name one of the actual integral parts of the deck? <laughs> In Khan, feels like the thing you should name, right? Yeah, because we're never going to... how slow their hand is. No, but there. that is the right name here as well, because we cannot kill them in 1 minute 45. I don't think Modo will let me attack them 19 times in 1 minute 45. <laughs> That's 10 seconds of turn cycle. I just don't think it's going to happen, right? Less than 10 seconds of turn cycle. Oh, yeah, less than. Thanks, Bushel. I've been... I've been... I've been uh, yeah, I've been missing your fox shouts. Bushel. Okay, Bushel? that is a calm. Yeah, the great creator. Oh, my God. Okay. Ooh. Nice. We can play our Mystic Forge. What, do we just pop off it? Yeah, let's go. Cue Sonic the Hedgehog music, right? Like, I have a target. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god, we are doing it! Chat, we're doing it! <laughs> go, 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 go! Um, 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 oh no! Um, hesitation! Um, untap the. Fuck. We want to play this. How do we play this in a. They cost one less. So, let's so go... we need to untap the Grim one less. Blue. Blue. Untap Grim one less. Make the mana. Play the cube for one. We what? actually need to untap the Grimmon list there. <laughs> oh. We just made less mana. <laughs> no, we make more mana for doubling cube, though. Oh, that's true. I'll keep this one. Okay, more, more, more. Excellent. Come on! Yes! Yes! Yeah. We're doing it! We've got 50 seconds to kill them. We've got to find a con. And then we gotta go get the fucking thing. You know the thing. We can't get the Khan. It can't. Oh be fuck! How do we kill them? <laughs> oh no! We make loads of mana, make a giant ballista, and kill in them in forty seconds. Yeah, we make a ten, make it into a ten ten with loads and loads of mana, and then kill them with it. Okay. Untap this. Actually, cancel. Right, I I don't know what we're doing now. I've got this. Right, double mana. Double mana. Untapped it. Oh, I pressed the wrong one. That's probably lost me the game. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> untap this one. And then we just make the blister huge and kill them, right? 20 seconds to go. Yeah. Uh, how do I do this? Okay, they should concede. Come on. Oh, my God. No, how, do how do I auto pay? How do I auto pay, chat? How do I auto pay? I've not played MTG can. for a while in the last in the year. has been her, pretty chaotic. Okay, so they are, they're dead on board, right? Still loving your content, yeah, they are dead on board. Man. Keep it oh going. Oh, my God. They're dead on board and we can't even do it. Opponent, <laughs> show some... F respect the goddamn game, opponent. <laughs> respect the goddamn game, opponent. Our opponent's respected oh, the chip mark. Fuck. <laughs> oh, Rob, I'm yeah. literally sweating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, opponent. We were so close. Oh, we my God. So and oh, Blastoise said we couldn't screen. fucking win. They were dead. They were fucking... No, wait, okay, TK, TK, calm down. We're not thinking the opponent's now, so, all right? Sometimes the chess clock is the only way you can actually win. In really yeah, bad matchups. We've and stuff. all been there. We've won games <laughs> during opponent time. Yeah, I'm screenshotting that for prosperity though. That's oh, that was incredible. Oh my god, we where where was my? Have I got the fucking end of Andreas music on my time thingy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so close. We had it. We had the win in the bag. I, wh but, what, what happened? At least was? we know we can play through calm pithing needle. Yeah, and what happened was I didn't realise when I when I activate the second um it's just simple maths really, but I'm an idiot. I, when I activate the second cube and my mana went up to like thirty or forty or fifty or whatever, I was like, Oh fuck, we could just make a big blister hit them and zap them. Mm -hmm. Um uh, I did concede I would have been I would have disapproved. Um I'm fine with I'm happy that they conceded I'm happy either way, if I'm completely honest. Um if I like if I was playing a league and my opponent timed out like that, I'd mm, Ah, oh, it depends. Depends how, how impressed I was with the deck they were playing stuff, I guess. 
Um, right, I'm going to refill my water. Uh, it's cool that we are, we are... So we're currently 1-0. I'm not, I'm not even joking. I'm going to count that. That was a win. In paper, they were dead. Well, that deck was impressive, so that's nice. There we go. Apple Blasters, you owe me a fucking applause. You said we could not win, and we fucking won. Follow me. The other main deck, Wincon, is to make a ton of mana, then tap and untap Monoliths under Mesmeric Orb. Um, that doesn't do anything. That just mills you out. Are you sure you're not thinking of Doomsday? No, sorry, Four <laughs> Horsemen. That's Four Horsemen, Kabitha. That's not this deck. But I'm sorry if I must. There we go. We did win, Blastoise. They were dead on board. Paper that would have been. No, nice. Patters. Patters, literally, we lost. Technically, we won. We didn't technically lose, we did lose. <laughs> We technically won. Right, I'm going to grab some more water if you want to chat to uh, these bunch of miscreants, Rob. Okie dokie. Hello, bunch of miscreants. Infinite combos take more than 42 seconds. Yeah, 50 seconds on MTGO. Yes, they do. Paper, we describe the circle and get judges' permission to shortcut the cycle. Yes, that would work. Also, if we went to time, it would go to rounds, and because we still have the rounds, and we, we win. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Ask me anything. We haven't done this in a while, so I'm sure you have lots of burning questions about my life and your thoughts on the things that you would like my advice and wisdom on. Are there any commanders from Strix C21 you'd be interested to build? Um, I bought the Strixhaven uh, commander deck because Brina looked cool. And the warlock with the possum possum counters look cool, and I will. So that's a good one. I, I like that that one. Um, I also like was it Al An An Alibu, the Boros artifact thing. Uh, Going to make me a tribal with that, which would be cool. Um, round glasses or square ones? Uh, I have square ones, so I'll go with those. As PK can we just play forty k yet? No. Uh, you said business was going good. Any insights to the field you are in? I work in marketing. Um, Rob, what was your favorite flavor of tea? Um, I like, uh, like all gray. I like chai tea. Uh, those are probably my two favorites. Uh, favorite choice of pizza topping? Uh, buffalo chicken, I think. May I tribal, hell yeah. Sour or regular starburst? Sour or starburst. How do you pronounce... Gta, like that. I'm a man of fine taste. That is correct. Marmalade or jam? Um, I'm not really a sweet per toothed person, um, but given the option, it would be marmalade rather than jam. Tea or coffee? Uh, tea. I am, yeah, horrendously English with my preference for tea over coffee, but I do drink coffee. Coffee's very nice. Uh, barring Cleric's favorite tribe? Uh, Mir, probably, actually. Uh, <laughs> um, you're in marketing. What do you sell? I sell marketing. I work for a marketing agency. We do services of marketing for B2B businesses. Uh, pineapple on pizza? Yes. Uh, Emma, a fat man in an overcoat. No, I haven't. Marmite, yes or no? Yes. Which tricks teams would you join not based on color? Not based on color? Um, probably Silver Quill, I guess, because I write a lot of things. I guess that's uh, I guess that's a thing. How much for one marketing? Wow. More than you can afford. Courgettes on pizza? Yes. There's a, a vegetarian pizza that I think Sainsbury's do as an own brand one. It's probably one of my favorite pizzas I've ever had. And it's got courgettes and pesto on it. It's very tasty. That sounds very uh, middle class pizza, Rob. It does, it does. Crispy or soft bacon rashes? Crispy. Does anyone prefer soft to crispy bacon? I don't know. I haven't yet to meet anybody who does. Uh, if you could lose your arms or your legs, which would you choose? Legs, probably. 
Oh, I, I've got pretty prehensile toes, so I could lose my arms and probably still function as a normal human being using my feet as hands. I don't know if that would... I don't want to unpack this too much, but I don't know if a normal human being would count there, Bob, if you were using your feet as your hands. <laughs> I guess so. Oh, the Americans won't know what courgette is, Rob, because they call them zucchinis, don't they? Oh, yeah, it's a zucchini. Sorry. God, I've got a bit of a headache. I think... I've had a headache all day. I'm going to turn down my sound levels on the computer. That might help. Good, you don't want me bellowing in your ears, do you? Well, me shouting probably doesn't help, but... It wouldn't be a very fun stream if I just sat around playing Magic quietly. Although that... <laughs> I say that, that's, uh, that does describe a lot of magic <laughs> streams. Right, let's play round two. I am hydrating. I've been hydrating all day. I've drunk so much water, I'm pissing too much. Dude, man, I think my, my headache might be because I had a headache and then I drank a lot of caffeine. <laughs> I've already had two coffees and some, asp um, some aspirin caffeine tablets today. You know, um, anodin. Weird way of saying anodin, but you know what I mean. This hand seems... Legit, I think. Okay, let's go. Riley DK, that's not Riley Knight, is it? No, he's called like Riley Quee Tower or whatever, isn't he? Okay, another once upon a time. Which is good because it makes them unlikely to be a blue deck. There could be an effect, I guess, or something. It'd be funny if they then revealed her blighted agent or whatever. Well, okay, so Baron Moore. So it's unlikely we're going to see any blue spells, so that's nice. Pachuca Bok. Okay. Okay, we get Ancient Tomb. Um, so we, can, we could go Grim Helm. Voltaic key, floating a mana still, untap Grim, mm -hmm. to forge, right? Yeah. So we Grim, Helm, Voltaic key, untap Monolith, three, forge. Not a million miles off that Khan, so we're gonna play Khan next turn. Mm hmm. I got loads of stops on them, I turn some of these off. Raven's Crime. To Raven's Crime. We're gonna sure. discard Mystic Forge. Yeah, which is. Totally yeah, fine. Redundant tech at the moment. Mm -hmm. Claimer. Okay, so hopefully we just pop off next turn. So we untap and draw Khan. Find a Mox Opal. We cast the Opal. Nice. Ooh, there's an Echo. Okay, we cannot. Draw. Not much we can do with that. So Khan costs three. It would be nice to have an egg in our sideboard. Yeah, I'm starting to think that as we keep seeing Echoes on top of Khan's available. Interestingly. Um. Quickest way to win here. So we don't want to draw this echo. No. Do we untap the forge and tap it again, or do we uptick on Khan to make the forge into a body? Which then they can kill. Um. So we can go one mana untapped monolith. Oh! So we can get Reservoir? It doesn't do anything. So 
we can go I was trying oh god there's so many options like uptick on <laughs> helm to block with allows us to then cast Mikus and Flatus next turn mm -hmm. but then we still can't protect the last, so that's bad I think I'm going to make a blue untap this get rid of that crystal vein mm -hmm. oh my goodness so tricky frustrating um We'll start reservoiring next turn, I guess. Okay. Ah. So they could discard a land to Raven's Crime. They could they could cycle Baron more. They could sack Nurk and beat land, and then they'll be able to attack us and kill our helm in combat. They might just have a push here, which would mean okay, sack a Baron more. Now, Raven's Crime isn't that common in Turbo Deaths or anything. This could be a variant of Turbo Deaths. It looks like it's some sort of loam deck, though, with Raven's Crime plus Baron Moore. Hmm. That would be my thought. Dark Confidant. Right, we draw the Echo, we find a Mystic Forge. I guess, do we want to just go get LED and, like, cast Echo? Like, restock our hand, play out our hand, play us on top of our library, just go a bit wild? Yeah, that... Yeah, I mean, I think... Yeah, let's do that. Probably the right thing to do. Cast LED. This, this gives us our, our cake and the ability to eat it. Yeah, we don't want the Mystic Forge on top. Doesn't, we don't care much for that. So we just shuffle it all away. How do we end up with one blue extra? Oh, because Hell makes Hell. all spells cost less, not just colourless spells, Vince. Derp. Okay. Ancient Tomb, Petal, Petal. Jeweled Lotus, yep. Voltaic Key, Grim for one, <laughs> Voltaic Key, Helm. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Helm. <laughs> Lotus pedal. Ah. That's a bingo. Um, that, <laughs> that is indeed a bingo. Let's go Khan. God, this deck is a lot of fun. This is very silly. I do uh, like this tick deck. this. I down tick this. Say yes. Oh, any deck that kills with Reservoir just gets my blood pumping, you know? It gets the people going, Rob. <laughs> Give this. the people what they want. Always yield to this. Yep. And Float let's go, this. go, go. Say okay. Go to 24. Cast this. Go to 37. Remember, you have to be above 50. Uh, Not on 50. One. Cast blue. Cast this. 51. Okay. That'll do. Cast this. I'm going to get to over 100, then we'll go. Because we're saying several spells away, right? Yeah, like three. Cast this for free. Cast this. Activate this. Cast this. Wow, we can, we can double activate eighth of um reservoir, right? You may fire when ready. Load up the Death Star. Load it up again. Double Death Star in the Double D chat. Get fucking hyped <laughs> for the Double D. Huh? Oh, they're dead. Boom, headshot. Got him. <laughs> uh, that is a Valkyrie punch. 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 That is very loud chat. I do apologize. I don't apologize at all. Okay. Easy game. Sideborns for cowards. Let's go. The funny thing about the Chain of Vapor that I think is actually shit is that if they play a Collector Roof, right, and we don't have a Chain of Vapor in hand... Mm -hmm. If we untap and draw it, we can no longer cast it because we have no blue sources that aren't artifacts. So you have to literally have it in hand. I think it's actually a bad bit of sideboard tech looking at it. Oh, fuck. Do we keep an echo hand? No, oh, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we, we need double blue to cast it. We've only got one blue. Yeah, but we, oh, we, we have to draw an LED, don't we? So it makes LED good, and then I guess the yeah, cons and thingies are good. Yeah. I think it may be a something like Ghost Flame or some kind of like colourless burn spell. Because it, it, it's only 2-2, two -two, isn't it? Oh, I see what you mean, to cut off your lands. 
Yeah, so rather than having... But Ghost Flame still revi- requires red mana, right? You mean uh, Spatial Contortion stuff? Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah. shit, you're right. Like, just so bored of Spatial Contortion is going against Collector Oof and Thalia. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, innovating. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's a good draw. That's a start. We'll have that. And then we'll go <laughs> this for free, this for free. Don't don't collect it with me, bruh. <laughs> Please, be good. Because next time we can untap our opal with a voltaic key to get double blue, and we'll have two mana. So four blue is five. One to untap, but another four. Make, yeah, five. We'll better cast Echo next time. Because cool. Echo will cost one less as well. Yes, it will. Cycle the Baron more. Right, one time no collect oof. Come on. <laughs> Snapback be better. Is that the one where you have to bounce an island? Yeah. Mm. Sell a blue spell. Th- yeah, something along those lines. Snapback is da, 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 da. exile blue card from hand. Okay, we don't play enough blue so, cards. Again, we have four blue cards. So, so we're gonna go. If we go one mana for doubling cube, we have three, four. No, so that doesn't get us any. We have to have over five, don't we? Yes. Oh, fuck, I pressed the wrong... I literally clicked the wrong Whoa. button. <laughs> Was it seven? What is this? Green, black, what? Abrupt decay? My hell? Okay, hmm? yeah, that's reasonable. Seems fair. Probably should have done that earlier, my friend. But it's fair. Um, Lion's Eye Diamond. Lotus Petal. Leave it there. Yeah. Or do we echo again? We echo again, right? I mean, we haven't won the game yet, so yeah, let's go. <laughs> we have got a forge in hand. Forge is good. Forge is good. But, but we might be able to get a hand. We might we get another cast. one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, go again. Um... Do we go again? What are we trying to hit here? We're trying to hit another <laughs> petal or a mox opal plus a two drop, aren't we? So maybe we do go again one more time. Mm, uh, well, I don't know. Like, yeah, come on. Come echo, on. We've, we've come here to... I ain't come to here not to draw seven. Yeah, we, we got the latest. The, the lotus is down, so we need... We yes, there is, dude, man. If you want to put clips, there's a steamy stream room, which I will actually pull clips out to make a compilation soon. I haven't done a compilation in, like, a year, so... Oh my god, what could they possibly have here for one green? Bella Summer doesn't stop it, right? This is letting them see Force of Vigor more. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Okay. Sure. They kill our keys. Yeah, that's fine. That's just free for them, though, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go. I don't think the second echo is actually correct, but that's not the point. Um, ah, cube. Yes. Okay, past time. Crop rotation? Oh no, tranquil ticket cycled. We'll still land out of the bin, so if they are lone, that's something, right? Draw a card, okay. That seems desperate. I mean, maybe they feel that they're in a rough spot. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they've got a hex mage here. No. Okay. Untap. Right, here we go. Okay. What is the line here? So we want to we want to double our mana, right? So we're gonna do this and this and play. Oh fuck! We can play cube, double our mana, because cube costs us an investment of five mana to get doubled. Mm-hmm. 
Um, which will then change our, change our lotuses into six mana. So we're spending five to get six. Is that, is that good, do we think? I don't know. I guess that's I okay. It's okay. <laughs> I mean, what are we doing um, with the six? I guess, I guess that's the question. I guess what we're doing is we should probably play Forge first and see if we can find a helm. Yeah. And we have key. Oh, we have key. We have key. And we actually have more than six mana coming out of this because we go like this, lose this. I should probably turn off that yield. Make this, make this. We actually make a lot more mana here. Mm -hmm. Than I thought. Play a cube. Fucking now, who would have thought the year of our Lord 2021 that like Dublin Cube would be doing this, eh? <laughs> And then we go manifold key for one. Yep. And don't decay me, bruh. Okay. And I'm going to untap another target artifact, which is this. They could, by the way, crop rotate into something. No, no, probably not. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Untap that. <laughs> Cute dark depths there. Be sure if we're absolutely insane. Okay, so they're going to force a vigor. They have, I, okay. I felt like when the pause minute, I felt like they had something. Right? Yeah, they, they, yeah, So that's definitely. gone. Okay, that's fine. So we still have a lot of mana. We do. The question is, do we go Khan or Forge? We have we have 10 mana. I think we go Khan, because we can... I we can. We just, um, well, Khan turns off their mock summons. Khan is absolutely the correct line. Yeah. Even without Lattice. And Lattice obviously makes it even better. Uh, Khan. Oh, they're F6. Oh, no. Down tick. Lattice. Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> okay, if they haven't. Oh no, because they. No, so no, fun fact, they, they can't force a vigor there because force a vigor in the hand becomes colorless, and so do the other cards. You can't exile a green card. Are you aware of this? Oh so yeah. So once once Lattice is in play, force a vigor is also turned off. Oh, that was that was wonderful. That was absolutely mm -hmm. wonderful. That was that was, tasty. <laughs> that was really enjoyed that. <laughs> oh chat. If we just play against non blue decks all night and I actually play at a reasonable pace, maybe we'll do okay. Uh, so it turns off it turns off cards that want to pitch a particular colour because all cards become colourless Hawk Force. So Force of Will is no longer viable when Magic of Lattice is in play. Um, neither is um, a load of other stuff. Toot that horn. I mean, Cal, that makes sense. Wait, was that today that Natural Order got banned in Gladiator? I was actually only today was I thinking, hang on, these are legal in Gladiator, right? Because it's not like I cut from talking about the video earlier to cut down its length a little bit. Well, so I've written some notes on how you can open mystical archives right now that um, cannot be used in historical standard. So unless you're playing Gladiator or Casual uh, with your friends, some of the cards on Arena you can open, some of the mythics you can open are actually useless. Well, and now with Natural Order Band in Gladiator, there's literally nowhere to play it. Oh, the MTG Arena economy just gets better and better by the day. Doesn't it just? Doesn't it just? Hmm. Provisional watch list, channel demonic tutor, minds desire natural attain impact. I mean, I mean, this is me being impolite to Ben and everyone else who's like more, uh, doing the format, but that that just reads like a who's who of cards that are obviously <laughs> fucking dumb, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but they, no, they're being looked at, being watched. That's fine. As as what does being... order even hit in arena? Uh, just just create a hoof behemoth, and then the seven mana create a hoof behemoth. <laughs> like it literally hits the things you want it to hit. Yep. Um, hell, hell! Isn't the, is the green white turning off a certain spell? The one, the other natural order target in elves sometimes is that in jumpstart? Was that no, that was in battle bond? Uh, right. This hand is lands lotus king calm. calm. This seems pretty fucking I like good. I like this. Yeah. Like, this combination here is like a lot of mana, right? Yeah. So let's do it. Wait, can we just do it? We can make six. We, we, so there are elves, three. maverick, or some lone variant. God, if we just play against greens and tears decks all night, it's... Uh... Yeah, I'm, this is going to be a good night for us. <laughs> <laughs> so we go City Traitors, Lotus Petal... Doubling cube, jeweled lotus, and then pass the turn. Setting up for a godly turn next turn. Good. 
Oh yeah, if they go collect the roof main, we're fucked. Strange dude, man. So let's see if they do. A card reprinted and jumpstart might as well have not been reprinted. Not necessarily Alpha Sapphire. So what that means, so it's a weird one, right? So any card that was only printed in Jumpstart, I agree with you. So like the 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 Allosaurus uh, right, Shepherd is Shepherd, extremely yep. expensive. If a card was reprinted in Jumpstart into formats, uh, that means that it probably had a, a, a printing that was of a reasonable level prior to that. Uh, case in point, Baneslayer Angel, which has had many, many prints now and isn't super expensive in spite of being a, uh, a casual angel card, right? Um, so yeah, I know what you mean. If it, if it was a rare or mythic, it only jumpstart, then it might as well not exist for some people. If it was a reprint, it means it existed somewhere else and actually kind of works. Okay, so they're going to have a collector oof in their sideboard. Uh, they yeah. don't play Rex Age main, apparently, main. anymore. So that's nice. Yeah, oh yeah, I saw your video about this. <laughs> like, why it's is true. there no Rex Age here? Apparently collector oof is better, but I don't know. Yeah. Why green, City Over green Tomb? Comes those, um, right? Yeah, he probably should have gone Tomb first, to be fair. Okay, so. Oh, baby. Okay. Wait, no, tap the mana, tap the city. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a trigger you can respond to, but yes. So we're going to go to Tomb. And then we're going to go... Do we want other mana? No, we need Khan in play before we crack that Lion's Eye Diamond. So if you have four mana, crack Lotus, crack Petal... Putting four in our pool. Play a manifold key. Use three. That double the four to eight, but three of it won't be usable, so we'll only get five mana out of it. It's yeah. enough for Khan, though. Yeah, but we can just cast Khan anyway, can't we? We can, like, jump on those hoops, that is very true. And then play Lion's Eye Diamond, and then use the Lion's Eye Diamond to cast whatever we get off Khan. Yeah. Which will be what I want against the elves. You know, walking blister, killing stuff would be pretty hot. Mm -hmm. Oh, tricky, 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 tricky. Um, we cast Khan. We'll only have four mana from the Khan. After the Khan. Bridge. Yeah, but Bridge doesn't do anything here because they would have one one, so they'll just kill Khan. Mm. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Use three of it, so we get ten back. Three is unusual, so we have seven. And then we go Manafoki. Oh, yeah, so you play Manafoki afterwards. Yeah. God, I am bad at maths, and this deck is a math deck. <laughs> um. It's okay, we'll get there slowly. Oh, no, but we sink three and don't get three, so we don't get seven, we get less. So now if we've got five mana, if we use three of it, we only get four back. I mean, Ratchet Bomb looks pretty good here. True. That doesn't put us any closer to getting them. Fuck. It doesn't, but it certainly slows them down. It does, indeed. But they got a turn to untap, play Cradle, and just go fucking wild. Can we cube again? We can cube again, but it doesn't get us anywhere, right? Because it costs us four mana to cube again. Mm. Go calm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go diamond. And then. We can make a ballista for two. We can go Ratchet Bomb no, and Prey right now. next turn. Impressing oh, can we not Ratchet Bomb my four key? Thank goodness to Twitch keeps it. track. Let's I go. can't even count this high. Oh shit, yeah. Mm, Rob, I haven't. Mm. Yes. So if we go. Blue key. 
Oh, that's amazing. I hadn't even thought about Manifold of Keen. That's, that's brilliant. Well done. That's well good. Thank you. That's well done. <laughs> right, let's go. Yeah, so then we have no fear of them just cradling the shit out of us. Down yeah. tick. Grab Ratchet Bomb, which is too bad, right? This is the way I've realised I've... Yeah, my entire Ratchet life, I thought it's three. Yeah. I've played it loads of times. Like, it's a... I can't have played before. Ratchet Bomb. We're going to lose our key to this. No, this is pretty right good. Now. Impressing the heck out. Well, hello, ID Math. Thank Sorry goodness, in advance, but it has to be done every I time. Duck, it. quack, duck, quack, duck, quack, duck, quack, duck. Thanks for the duck. Quack, duck, quack, duck, quack, duck, quack, duck, quack, duck, quack, duck, quack. Untap it. Thank you for the duck, stuck though, three. Um, blow up all three of these things. The dried arm will survive. We lose our key. We still have a calm. They can't kill the calm with a current ball comp. Yeah, that was pretty good. Okay, we got there. I was very cool. The Vatican bomb line was like one of the early obvious ones, but I thought we had to pass back with it. I hadn't seen yeah. the key line. That was good. That was good. So now yeah. we just need to, I don't know, hit something. We are a little well, we can bit. We'll get another, yeah, I suppose we can get another LED off the car and make mana if we need to. So, yes. Uh, forge would be the ideal draw here, right? So we can just oh, get Forge robbing. would be ass, yeah. I don't know, Forge we wouldn't be able to cast though. Because AD Omega discard it. So they're going to uptick, can't draw it. They're going to uptick. They're going to downtick, can't forcefully for us. <laughs> Scavenging Ooze. That's going to be a big boy soon. Okay. Okay, we make a lot of mana here. Should we go Jeweled Lotus, Jeweled Lotus. Oh, we can't even activate Doubling Cube because we're one mana short of activating it. Oh no! We are in a in a pickle in a bind. A, a dilly of a pickle. Can we lattice? Nope. We have literally two mana. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we down tick Khan. Go and get a, a walking ballista. Yeah. It, this is gonna be our only thing. This is uh, this is bad. This is very bad. Well, I, mean, oh, I was gonna say bridge me, bridge it better here, but we can't even cast it. So yeah, yeah. if we had one more mana, we could uh, at least double up our mana on our jewel doses or some shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the city into the tomb. You are right. That's what I've done wrong. So I played um city into tomb, and I should have played tomb into no. Sorry, I played tomb into city. I should no. I played tomb into city. I should have played no. Fuck me. I played city into tomb. I should have played tomb into city. And then we'd yeah. add two more mana, which uh, we'll be doubling our mana. We'll be playing a lattice and all, all sorts of shit right now. Yeah, I completely fucked it on that round sequence. I do math. You completely missed when we actually popped off on many indications. We we're actually technically two zero, but I timed out trying to click through killing someone with a walking ballista in round one. Um, such is life. Uh, how it's not just about these there are other methods this is part of it how I can i quickly i will show you if we get that if i explain it to every person who shows up late to the start of the stream i'm not saying you have to show up at the beginning duck but if i explain to everybody who shows up and asks me to uh we're not going to get very far <laughs> and i'll want to kill myself so we're not going to do that it will, it will literally fray my sanity Absolutely. Um, so we're going to take five here and we need to draw fuck knows what i think we're just scooping on this draw step Redraw. <laughs> yeah. Feel like. Mm -hmm. No. Nah. Well, that gives us three mana next turn to activate cube. So if we survive next turn by blocking the scavenging and shooting the Allosaurus Shepherd, we could untap and draw um, Forge. Yeah. And then we can just go, like, absolutely wild for top. That's the plan. Okay.
Don't make a collect toy for my friend. There we go, right. Oh shit. We don't have three mana Rob. Oh no we do, we do. Okay. That's not a forge. That is not a forge. Okay. Feel like we're dead. Cool. Fuck it. I think that's wrong. That can't be right. That can't be right. <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting, um, Adam Blasters, there's loads of other random two-mana creatures in Magic that are like one ones and shit that draw your cards, and they're just not good enough. But Visionary's like, yeah, I'm an elf. <laughs> that's fucking, that's privilege. That's privilege yep. right there. That certainly is. The I mean, nice thing about this deck is you don't really have to sideboard. Yep, I love card decks for that reason. <laughs> Right. Okay, we've got cube, we've got Khan, we've got land. Oh, can't, can't ask for more. No, not really. Although, let's just bear in mind that they'll have brought in their things that they can green suns for, so we need to kill them ASAP. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's fuck them up. Easy, Rob. Easy. Um, so we can go Ancient Tomb... Lotus Petal, Mox Opal, d -d 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 Doubling Cube, key. Voltaic Key. Past turn. Is there a chance that we just let a slot for the next turn? Uh, Play a card? No, probably not. Not quite. If we draw, no, if we draw a Lotus, we can, right? Because we can like, crack it yeah. to three. No, we can't, no. Ignore me. I'll figure it out in our turn, Rob. One, two, three, four. Oh, no. Oh, figs. The what? <laughs> this is the one thing. Oh, fuck. Okay. Un <laughs> My soundboard froze, so I played the Inception sound way too late. I'm sorry, chat. Okay, then. Cool. <laughs> Just need to draw a Khan, an Echo, or... A forge. So I think we have like nine or ten different options. Out, there. Yeah, yeah, plenty of plenty of options. Green Suns, here it comes. No, no, it's Green Suns of Zero. I'm fine with this. That even suggests they've got another Green Suns in hand, or they really don't think Collector Roof is worth it. Um, okay, <laughs> let's go ahead. Make a blue. Tap all of these. Also make another blue. Yeah, make all the blues. Then we double our mana. Yep. Did that even double our mana? It did double our mana. Sweet. Untap doubling cube. Double mana or some more. Do it again. Yep. Echo. Th this has given them a lot of cards too, but... We didn't come here not to draw seven. Right. Okay. What do we do with this? This hand is actually probably... Is this as bad as it could be? Uh, yeah, I think so. Like, like <laughs> we need some mana in here. So we can echo again if we really wanted to. I think we're going to play the Mystic Forge and have it some mana on top. Because Khan so. doesn't do anything to... here, right? Yeah, we've got way too much redundancy here. <laughs> well, Khan can get us a mana for key, and then mana for key does nothing. Okay. It's, Mystic it's, Forge. it's not as bad it's as it could have been, Rob, because it could have been literally nothing, right? Yes. Yeah, Could just lands somehow. Okay. Cast like this. That. Yeah. I'm oh, okay. We're off. We're we're popping. We're popping the offs. We have popped. God damn. You. Shit. I can't untap anything. Which is awkward. Okay, let's just, hope, let's just hope they don't hoof, hoof us. Yeah. <laughs> Easy. Let us, let's, <laughs> let us hope for that. 
Oh, the meal plan is online. Yeah, the jeweled lotus makes us mana with doubling cube. But you have to have, like, abundance of them. Our next turn is nuts right now. It certainly is. Uh, so they have four mana. Natural order. Five mana, six mana. Oh, God, they can turn everything into five. Oh, they've got two cradles. And they just got a raw hoof in hand. Oh, no! Where's the bike uh, growth theme? ba da ba ba Oh, man. One, I think we're one turn too slow. So we're going to take a PP. I'll be back in, like, 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. That was real close. <laughs> we did our best I'll tell you the story about the time where we were trying to kill somebody with a walking blister with no time left on the clock you may have been here for that it was a thing I'm muted I'm not muted Vince is muted Vince is muted has Vince muted me by mistake He has not. Rob is fine. Okay, good. <laughs> Wait for chat to catch up to answer my question. Yeah. He uh, he sometimes uh, doesn't mute me, so I can hear him do that, which is, uh, which is fun. Shock she doesn't pay you. This is quite this would be literally literally dead air. Yeah, that's true. But he pays me in friendship as well. And yeah, you know, I'm doing this off, you know, because I like doing it. So it's fun. Favorite breakfast meal. Uh good question. Favorite breakfast meal. Uh um You can't pay for friendship. Bacon, well, what are you talking to them about? Bacon sandwich. Uh somebody said that uh it's uh Somebody's shocked that uh, you don't pay me because I'm filling your dead air. I mean, you... God, when I'm big enough, Rob, sure. Fuck <laughs> 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 it out. Um, to be fair, if I wasn't pay. here, I would just put an away screen on or just let you stare at a chair like everyone else. Like, you know. <laughs> yeah, consider yourself lucky that I'm here. Yeah, it's convenient. And I do appreciate it, Rob. I do appreciate it. I know you do. I know you do. Uh, hashtag pay Rob. Oh, God, here we go. Hashtag pay <laughs> If you all subbed more, then we can afford to pay Rob. Look at that. There we go. Let's, yeah, let's push the go. blame downhill, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, dear. Rob just should go into pasta sauce. What the fuck? Um, I am partnered, no. Smuchio, dear. Oh, yeah. Um, What's it like being partnered? Exactly Is the same. Literally oh. exactly the same. Excuse me, except loads of, pardon me, I just drink some water and somehow it's like I've drunk Pepsi or some shit. Um, except everyone congratulates me on being partnered. That's the difference. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> it was worth the grind then. Yeah. Um, right, yep, yeah, fuck it, let's go. This has got to be good, right? I actually have no idea what we, that's the funny thing, I look at this and I'm like, I don't know what we do, but it feels like we can do it. It's one of those decks. It is, it is, yeah. This looks like we can do things. Let's do things. Uh, righty. Sea of Traitors, Mox Opal, Lotus Petal. No. Mm. Yeah. Do you want to play the key? Yeah, we can play the key as well. Oh, yeah, we just play everything out. Do, 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 do. You should set up a new uh, Patreon level. That is just pay me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or a new, like, goal of a number of patrons or whatever. <laughs> Grim monolith from our opponent. Is this the fucking mirror? It's going to be the mirror, isn't it? It is, yeah. It must be. Oh, Here, we Here we go. Here we go. They're going to pop off first. Well, no, if we untap and play calm, they're fucked. They're absolutely fucked. So hopefully... They play calm, we're fucked. Hopefully they just, like, develop their board state, play, like, you know what I mean, get a really good first turn. Yeah. Pass back and lose. <laughs> oh, come on, stop with the, the manifold keying. Stop it! Don't calm me. Oh, my 
god, you fucker. Oh, wow. Oh, we, they can't us, we can't them. And then neither of us do anything. <laughs> well, no, they uptick Khan and beat us to death with a 2 2. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. I guess whoever, whoever, whoever draws and plays their forge first uh, wins because they're going to have to have a 4 4. Total carnage. Exactly. Oh, they can't untap the 2 2. That is correct. Yeah. So it'll be 1 1s for a while. We, we've got a 1 1 as well, so it'll all be good. They killed our Mox Opal. Okay. Cool. Yeah, our card looks more back breaking than their card right now. He says, drawing the Lion's Eye Diamond. Off. So I'm going to grab our Aetherflux Reservoir, I think, and then, yeah. I'll, then I'll beat us for one, and then we'll beat, we'll make a one-one blocker, and that's where we're at. <laughs> yep, looks like it. Um, or do we? No, are you doing right as now? They're, as they're drawing Impressing before we are. The heck out of me. Do we get bridge this here? This game turned Try into nothing oh. fast. <laughs> oh, we get bridge. Bearing in mind, we only have um, nine lands in our decks. So we have seven more lands to draw. True. Okay, let's do it. Or do we get a guaranteed 2 2 with defense grid? I feel like. That's a poor choice. Well, no, because they're going to have a 1-1 one, one every turn. Okay, yeah, take your point. But we don't get defense because it's garbage. We get liquid metal coat, Eagle Ratchet Bomb, because they're actually <laughs> useful. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pass turn to our opponent. Okay. Oh, we could have needled their Khan as well. That is an option. The Khan mirrors. Now, if they can like, land do. into Forge, into play a card of their deck, our decking them out plan becomes a lot better. The problem is they'll have a fucking 4-4. Four -four. <laughs> so, oh god, the intricacies of the Khan on Khan mirror. Absolutely. Eldrazi Temple. Oh my fucking god, really? They've innovated. Nah, this, this is a different variant or something. Trinosphere. Well, oh, actually, that does no. stop us liquid battle coating. That is a very good point. That's yeah, also a 3-3 three, three when they can't it. Oh, but you didn't see my trap card. Do we just get bridge here? 100%. Because of smashes and stuff? Yeah, that's a good bridge. Yep. Play traitors, say okay. We're never drawing a land again after this one. <laughs> I've run the card from outside the game. Let's get bridge, and then we're just gonna f six the best of the match and see how it goes. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not actually not joking. It's a. It's a fun. This deck has got so many ways to win. Right, chat? Isn't this fun? Oh shit! We. Oh shit, mentor. You're right. Bridge is terrible here because we can't crack this LED. Because we have a hand. And they can attack with any of these things. Oh, no. Oh, that was a pun. All right, game two. Oh, no, it's not the thing. Hang on, let me stop the soundbite. I was playing the new game sound. What, what's wrong? They kill Khan. They then have all the mana in the world, Rob. Okay. And a Khan okay. and a Trinosphere. And we have, okay. we have two mana Nothing. and a bridge. <laughs> if we have okay. a, if the next card was a land we can actually may no no because then we'd only play one card a turn we'd never get our bridge that was just that was just a huge pun okay 
and say? What are we doing in the mirror? Channel uh, was garbage. Uh, Needle was fine to go grab up the side. Yeah, that's it, really. Cool. Alright, let's do it. I just found out these old Lego games with, with that music again recently. What, the, the PS1 opening game sound? That's not a Lego thing, Niridian. That's the PS1, like, opening ident. Why is it so much louder? I don't know. It's better when it's louder. Holy shit. Shit, shit, shit. Right, let's re in your hand, buddy. What's a PS1? Shut up, Pathers. You're like 50. Got him. Right. This does. That's just booting a PS1. Yes. Uh, yes, so Kawitha, chain can allow us to bounce a car to go off. Problem is, the only way to make blue mana comes from artifacts in our deck. Yeah. Which is, uh, which is a problem. Our opponent is that other mulligan thing? They have kept seven. We're gonna keep seven. What a wonderful day. Mox yeah. Opal. Go. Let's go, go, go. Jeweled Lewis. Oh. Lion's Eye Diamond. Mm -hmm. Do we care about having these in play? We probably do, right? Yeah. I don't yeah, know about the star. I think I want the I want to play the key and keep the man in my pool, I think. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 absolutely. Play key before you LED. Thank you for pointing out the obvious. I appreciate it. Um, <laughs> Blast <laughs> toys. Come on now. Cut me some slack here. Uh, cast Echo of Aeons. Cool, 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 cool. This LED. looks very good. How do we play? Oh, we've got Helm Awakening. You've got Helms. Yeah, so there we go. Helm Awakening. Free Chromatic Star. As long as they don't go like Chalice of the Void on zero, we're like. <laughs> but that's, just not, that's not terrible, like, right to our current hand. Uh, we've got a Voltaic Key that can tap some, and we've got this. We can't untap this, we have no mana. So we're just going to pass back, and we're going to play a Forge next turn for two. Okay, that was a solid first turn. That was a turn. That was definitely a turn. If they go like Monolith into Monolith into Khan, we just die. But we did force them to Mulligan with the Echo. We, we did. So board. whatever plans they had are currently all up in the air again. So that's good. Wait. They just tapped a Blast Zone for a grip. Oh, Helm. Of course. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, look at these strange, symmetrical cards. Oh, no. Can you? There should have been a Planeswalking War of the Spark that just had the Helm of, of Awakening text on it. <laughs> and then, then the down tick was a, a, a humility to all creatures in play until the next turn. Like it had like all these really bad layering problems. It was so much fun, <laughs> and by fun I mean awful. Uh, yeah, that's a pun. Forgetting the helm was symmetrical is a pun. I mean, it happened earlier, and I still forgot. So, what's the game plan? I just joined. Well, stick around. I'll, I'll talk through it on next turn. Just avoiding zero is reasonable. That is what we didn't want to see necessarily. Might we might still be able to go off through it because a lot of our key parts now aren't zero. Yeah. Um, so, untap, oh. find a star. Star is good. Make two play crystal vein. Yep. Lose this. Bye. Right, helm awakening. Go. For one. Chances on zero, but we can still play this because it's CMC is one, one not zero. Is mana value, you mean? Sorry, sorry, yes, I forgot. 
I forgot where I was for a moment. I thought I was playing Magic. I'm kidding. I actually really don't mind the new <laughs> thing. I just play it up for laughs. So I literally do not care. I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. I don't care. Um, so the forge will cost us two. Um, so let's crack this now. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to go down lands. Who cares? Okay. Who needs them? Who needs lands when you've got this Hell many on. artifacts? Grim Monolith for free? Oh, don't mind sure. if I do. I'll take don't that. Don't mind if I do. Oh, this Jeweled Lotus will get counted, but we want to see what's the top of our library, so we're going to let it get counted. Yep. There you go. I let that happen, chat. I let that happen. Okay, goodbye. That's good. Dublin Cube for free. Oh, my God. This is hot. Here we this go. This is so Here hot. Here we go. We for go. people who are asking what the deck does, this is what it does. This is what it does. So we can use Jeweled Lotus to basically, like, bump start the Dublin Cube stuff because it makes three commander mana, but when you double it, the other three is uh, regular mana, so you can use it to, for anything. So you you don't you lose three, but for the low low cost of nothing, it's a uh, yeah, it's a free dark ritual essentially. And right. but then it obviously it scales up and up and up as we go. So it's just a way of really hyper accelerating the the doubling cube plan. So we're gonna make a little mana now and do a double, I think, because then I yep. want to use mana to crack spheres to get through these lands. Mm -hmm. Actually, do I want to double yet? Because I might no, I don't want to double yet. Let's crack this for a blue. Then, ah. That's a card. That's a bingo. Right, now we're going to double and then lock them out of the game, I guess. Yeah, double and then draw off the chrome. Okay, so, uh, so, everyone, so chat can see this. We're going to go, I've got blue. We've got blue here. We've got blue here discarding our hand. Yeah, we're so watch, go, the, watch the mana pool. All this, all your this colorless. All this colorless. Right, so we have three commander, five blue, six colorless. We're then gonna. Do, I'm gonna double in cube. Do I crack stars first? No. We're gonna no. double in cube for three. Boop. Thirteen normal three commander. So the, the commander three stays. Commander. Three. Yeah, exactly. Stays the restriction. Everything doubled from there doesn't. Then we're gonna untap target artifact again to make a ton. This will mill. No, this will mill. Come on. We need to draw oh, now. We need to draw, draw now. now. Yeah, you're right. I forgot I had an Auburn play. Huh. Draw the card. Ah, Ooh. saved it. Switcheroo. Switcheroo. Uh, I guess I'm just going to draw as well because I want that star. Yeah. Draw the star. Yes. Mill the go. land. I'm so good at this game, Rob. Oh, look Cast at that. Look at that. Almost punted. But, uh, right, lattice card. lock. We and, lattice um, lock. I think I'm going to just blow them in the face with a huge load. Okay. Prepare your huge oh, load. Oh, no, no, they late. don't even want to see my <laughs> bucket of load. Um, so the options there were last locking them. Well, last lock only turned off the blast zone. These were, this was all turned off. I also get reservoir, cast star, cast opal, then just shoot them in the face. Um, yeah, there you go. That is what we're here to do. So the only other thing I think you didn't see in that was the echo of Aeons, which we use obviously with the LED to just yeah, like draw all the cards in the universe. Okay, they're on the play now, which is awful because they're a Charles Khan deck. Uh, which yeah. are both good against us. Yeah, so prepare for chance on one or zero. Um, I'm going to uh, just run mm -hmm. to Lou uh, while you uh, cool. Cool. do this. Yeah. Have fun at the Lou. Thank you. Right, chat. We've got a forge we can keep. I think we have to keep hands with cards and forges and sometimes echoes. No, this is not Look at this. What are you on about? Stone Age dude, man. Look closely. It's a forge. I think we're so fucked by their cards anyway, we have to let it... We just have to go for it. Tomb first. That's it. That's it. Yep. Oh, cloud post. Chance for zero. Okay. Good job our hands got no zero, isn't it? I guess chance for zero isn't as brutal as I thought it was. It's still pretty good, but... Mm, okay. Ancient Tomb. Grim Monolith. Grim Monolith. No acceleration. There's two Grim Monoliths. A manifold key. I want a manifold key for next turn. So we're going to pass the turn. And one time, one time, no con. Three mana. Trinosphere. Strong. Strong. We'll untap and find a Khan on top. Okay, so that will get counted. We're gonna... And it costs three. Woof! 
Woofsy woofsy. Can't on top. So Forge will give us another mill next turn. Mana for Kiel will obviously give us more mana. Because Khan can kill the Chalice. Fuck with. Oh, that's dab. Key into cube. So we play key for three. Untap a monolith. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's. Playing something, two things is better than playing one thing, right? Maybe, they're, they're, but, but you might be right there. Mulligan going to calm because of the power of it in the matchup. Might be a thing. If they play a card, we're fucked. Okay. So if we get a Khan, what does it do? They got liquid metal coating there, so we could turn off a land. No, we couldn't turn off a land. Yeah, okay. Yeah, making the 4-4 four, four and killing that car would have been sick. We didn't get that though. So we are 1-3, but we're technically 2-2 two, two if, 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 if I didn't talk to you lot too much. Ooh. Ooh. If the chess clock wasn't so unforgiving. Welcome back. They conned us. We did not con them. Oh. Yes, Richard Pack. Uh, I, I was watching a bit of Russian Rolls video today. So I'd already decided to play this deck because I knew I hadn't got around to playing it when the meme like was being talked about late last week. And then when I googled to try and find other people's lists, people who might have taken time to refine it, the, the, like the only person that had really spoken about it in any detail was Bosch. And I was watching the video, and then I was like, oh, fuck. Like, this video came out two hours ago. <laughs> this is, like, midday today. I was like, what the fuck? We're on the cutting edge of magic content right here. Magic memes, yeah. BRGZ is, is painting sisters. Well, I will be painting sisters at some point this week. Um, probably later in the week. I've started on Junith, but I think I started that, I started that like a week ago. I've hardly made well, we'll any progress on that at all. I've done no painting last week. It's kind of wild. Yeah, Bosch and Roll makes good, good legacy content. It's good to see people keeping it alive. Right, we are on the draw against BSK Hercules. Our opening hand has no lands, no way to turn Mopal on, and three of our payoffs. This hand is a mulligan, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. One land into Monolith, plus Mox Opal, plus... This feels good. So we play Crystal Vein, sack it, play Monolith, play a Mox Opal, tap the Grim Monolith... Play no, it doesn't get. I don't know. If, I think we have to keep it, but yeah. I mean, yeah. It's for, it's the forge that's the thing. I don't think this deck mulligans very well. I don't think it does either. Oh no! A potential force of will deck. Let's hope their storm to have force of will. <laughs> It's funny, I've played so much DNT in my time, but nowadays I've, I just I do just love uh, playing solitaire decks with soul lands in them. It's just, <laughs> it's just simpler, you know? Yeah. You're the underdog, but you're also the underdog that doesn't have to think too much. Yeah. And often you make yourself the underdog. So. How dare you? Um, Chromatic Sphere. 
Mox Opal. Pass the turn. Hopefully we get a land next turn or one. Maybe a Lion's Eye Diamond or something that can turn on our Opal for free. Mm -hmm. Thoughts East takes our Mystic Forge here. Or Duress takes our Mystic Forge here. Mm -hmm. That preordain art, my, my friends, if you're wondering, is from the dual deck Venser versus Koth. Yep, and that is Venser in the art, I believe. Maybe. I mean, that would make sense, right? But at the same time, it doesn't even look like him. Or maybe it does. Does he have, like, a blonde crew cut? He's got, yeah, sort of blondish sort of hair, like, cut short. Bloody Venser. Yeah, I do like him, uh... The, the preordaining into, like, the platelets of a, like, um... What are the planes of Mirrodin called that you get? Other than being called planes, obviously. Um, <laughs> oh, what's the Seacrone Coast? So it's like the Seacrone Coast sort of like paneling, isn't it? Mm. It's cool. I like. I like. I like the new secret there where it's shock lands in different places. Culture shock lands like an Amon cat. Oh yeah, I really like the uh, Overgrown Tomb. I think it's what, what plane is it? Uh, it's the the conspiracy plane. And it's like it's Brago's tomb that's been like long abandoned, and it's like oh, been built sweet. in. It's built in this little courtyard, and it has that kind of real kind of you know that vibe of like things that were built in London that were once really in, like really famous, and now have just been forgotten. They're just in a weird little courtyard in an alleyway somewhere. It's got that sort of vibe to it. It's really cool. That's so cool. I love that stuff. I like, yeah. So um, I like it. Well, I just I just, I just will very rarely buy secret lands. It's annoying as well. Cause I really like the uh, fractured identity. That's in like um, oh, I kind of want if I were build cube, I want that 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 mystical archive one they put into that. But I yeah, that was really cool. Um, star. They're, I think they're definitely storm with duress preordains. Yeah, definitely. Loop one of these. Draw another key. Key. Ooh, looking a bit slow. Looking slow. Yeah. Richard Pack saying some ant lists are now running Chain of Smog Winter Bloom combo. That's the other thing I was considering for playing today <laughs> because that's the other like recent meme like, from a new set. I heard there was templating a mistake on one of the Secret Lair shocks, but I haven't seen it. Uh, White Hot. What is it? What is the mistake? I, I saw people meme about it on Twitter. But they, they've made so many templating mistakes and so many misprint mistakes, like the, the mixed up art and the mystical layers, the um the, 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 the mystical not layers, the mystical archives. The the, the legendary that I was talking about to have for Tatiova earlier, apparently there's a version of her in one of the languages where the back green half the CMC is wrong. Like it's three <laughs> or five or something, not four. But again, I haven't seen that. I just saw someone say it in a like on a thread somewhere today when I was looking at the car when I was or yesterday when I ordered one. Ponder. This one? Okay. Yeah, again, this is a thing where people get misconstrued now as JDB as well, because that was what I thought, but then people in chat the other day were trying to tell me that wasn't the case, and now I have I am actually confused as to which who is wrong and who is right so but i also don't care enough to look it up so okay we will get right. there one day um grim monolith crack the star draw a card nope play a command go again So right, we've got loads of mana now. <laughs> oh god, yeah, and then when we get down when we get away from like visual designing, like well, the things we're talking about are things that are done uh, at a level before they go to printers, right? But what Bobby is mentioning about the wrong inking and the wrong colours and stuff, that's just a thing that is uh uh, a, 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 um, a pervasive problem with quality control. I guess arguably both of them can be quality control, but you know what I mean? It's more of a factory level thing, a production thing. <laughs> Why not play the cube and untap the monolith? Um, play 
give the cute lunch at the moment. So to oh yeah, because mm, yeah, no, I should have done 100%. 100%. Yeah, it looks like we're dead. Right, come on. Somehow die. <laughs> well, nope, it's not looking promising. Admiral's him. Okay, here they go. We're dead. We're duper dead. That's the way it rolls. Gave Storm way too much time to get it going. Yeah, yeah, we spun our wheels. Well, no, basically, Jurassic won in the game. Who would have thought it? Mm-hmm. Tendrils, no, infantry of tendrils now. Very good deal on the stack. Pass the flames. Pass the flames, ritual, ritual. Infantry, uh, tendrils. Oh, there's no tendrils here. Oh, cool. New art. Sexy tendrils. Oh, that's a point. After this, we'll do the giveaway. I forgot. I actually forgot. <laughs> so, um, after this game, chat, we'll be doing a giveaway. It'll be open to everyone who's in chat, not just subscribers. Uh, and we will randomly select someone who, uh, from who to enter. We'll give like a two, three minute window, or whatever. And the person who gets selected will get a free uh, Mystical Archives playmat from Ultra Pro. They'll send it out to them as well. They'll pay, we'll pay shipping. So, yeah, you get to pick which one you want. You can DM me it. But we'll do that after this round. Glad someone played the Mystical Archives so I fucking remembered. <laughs> Am I eligible for this or do I... Uh... I'm gonna keep. I'll Christmas. keep you out of this one only because John <laughs> just won a fucking prize over the Discord for a quiz thing we did, which I think no, really? uh, I'm gonna change the rules so we can't <laughs> next time. Um, yeah. Um, actually, no. Rob, you can, no, fuck it. You can. You nah, can, it's cool. No, it's you fine. can enter it. You can enter it. You gotta. Like, you'll have like a one in a hundred and fifty chance. I like those odds. <laughs> uh, the, the reason I remember as well was the first one that I gave around Twitter. Someone picked the tendrils out as their primer. Ah. I think not that one. I think the one we just saw was the Japanese one. The language is English. But... Yeah, I own a lot of playmats. Too many playmats. Um, I've got one in front of me, the, the, the Rogach one, or whatever his name is, the Kobold Commander guy. And he is just covered in, like, non-oiled stains from painting. It's pretty funny. <laughs> right. Okay, let's see. All the mana in the universe and nothing to do with it. Crystal vein, three keys. Fucking, oh my god. I think it's unlikely to get two bad hands like that in a row. Mm. Okay, okay. We, can, we got, a, this is good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, of course. Our deck mulligans badly, but we can mulligan to a reset. So that's actually not so terrible. Okay, this hand's pretty so, good. So, put back the helm there, Lady. Well, we might go City of Traitors. No. City of Traitors City Helm. Helm. Play Spear. Lion's, 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 Lion's Eye. Lion's Eye. Crack both. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I can I do can that. Just... So we're going to put the Mystic... F oh, two cards back. Oh, shit. Yeah, so one LED, one Mystic Fortune. No, no, no. This is three mana for, for nothing. This is money for our rope. Uh, so we ditch the Forge because we're not casting it. And we ditch either the Helm or the Sphere. I think we ditch the Sphere. Because we're not casting it either. I say done. Alrighty, let's do it. <clears throat> Alright then. City O Traitors. Helm, oh, Helm is quite good for our storm opponents. I'm hoping we get somewhere. <laughs> that is also very true. Well, unless they obviously have a handful of like dark ritual, but if it's like infernal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not infernal, sorry, the other one. Cabal. Right, Lion's Eye. Lion's Eye. Oh, three blue. Three blue. Echo Vaeons. Lion's Eye Diamond. Very oh, nice. look at all these one drops, Rob. This is this is this pod is racing. Tasty. Do we want another <laughs> helm? Yeah, all the helms. Yeah, fuck it. Although they'll basically win the game. <laughs> if, we don't, if we don't win here, yeah. they will probably win. If any, we should play a one storm spell. I was thinking of putting a storm spell in for fun. 
Um, for fun. Just a, again. a fun one. Um, do we want to crack a sphere first? No, no, we want to crack it afterwards, don't we? Because yeah, although we might yeah, want to redraw it, we don't want it in the hands. We just got it. So three blue. Yeah. Go again. Oh. <laughs> off, off we go. Cube. Oh, we can even double cube now. We could tap the Grim Monolith and do some cubing, make some mana. Yeah, I think we I think we will. Because we want to redraw this petal, I guess, right? Yeah, at some point. And we'll mill one card from the orb. That doesn't matter too much. We'll keep one of our untaps for a uh, forge. <laughs> mill a forge. Cool. Doubling cube. Oh, I should okay. have... Uh, I should have oh, I'm an idiot. I should have untapped the doubling cube. That's stupid. Echo. Ah, there's come. They go. Game over. They have lost the game. <laughs> they have indeed <laughs> lost the game. Um... <laughs> <laughs> this oh is turn God. one. This, this is, is turn so good. one. Um, I hope they've lost, lost because I should have played those LEDs after I'd gone and got the. If we can Let's keep good. making Let's tons good. and tons, of... yes. Look at that. There we go. Who was it? Was getting lippy in chat a minute ago? It was take my shirt off. They're like, oh no, our opponent's playing cards that have text on them. How about you eat my fucking shit smeared anus? Yeah, take that <laughs> shirt off, you shit. Ah, oh, right. We should play ones like Storm Spell, like one, I don't know, just Mind's Desire to really just be, uh... Don't yeah, tempt brain me. freeze. Brain freeze, man. We could do a land. I feel like this needs land. So we can mopal and then lose. No, we are looking. Uh, Again, we failed to find one of our nine lands. Um... Which is reasonable. Nine is quite a low number. Um, <laughs> I think there's more than that. Yeah. Okay. I think we're now on the. Jesus. Can we get an LED in her? And yeah. A... Can we get an eons? Yeah. Man. Okay. Well, let's oh, see how we go. Well, nope. This is awful. We. It's a turn one. Play a commander only black lotus and pass. Uh, we have to mulligan. That last time looked shit, Chad. Don't don't even. Okay. All right. Just fuck it. Fuck. What am I even keeping out of this hand? Uh, it had a land. That is true. That is true. Duh. To be fair, though, with nine lands, having one land in your hand isn't that difficult. Um. So we've got a little bit unlucky in the game three, but we got quite lucky in game one too. So, um, drop this. Okay. Put back a key. I know what we do. We just put back everything and hope we draw a soul land. Okay. Hell. Actually, no, no, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. This should have been key. Should we go soul land, grand monolith, tap monolith, key, untap it, play forge? Whoopsie. Oh. No. <laughs> the old <laughs> mulligan to three get thought seized. Perfect. <laughs> okay, we're going to F6. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay. We're going to draw LED, then we're going to untap and draw echoes. You ready? Now somehow, guys. Okay. We're doing it, chat. I'm going to rip LED. Oh, they mold to five. So we're actually not that far behind. <laughs> Ask for the sad horn, I give you the yes! sad horn, and that is not a joke about depressed erections. Ponder, okay. Off the top echo, right? Yep. It's so funny that one of our top decks right now could be Jeweled Fucking Lotus. Because <laughs> it's just so bad on this board, right? It's so bad on the board 90% of the time. <laughs> are they just gonna do are they, just, are they just gonna go off and then we don't have to worry about it? Mm. Oh my goodness. It's a it's a fucking it's a strict saving card, everybody. 
Oh my god, here we go. So here comes the spot. Oh, we're going to emote only mode for a bit. Uh, sorry, everybody. We're going to emote only mode. I need to turn that off. They're going to go smog, 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 smog. But maybe they won't. They might only attack us with a 2 2 here. Don't just have it. Come on. Oh boy. When they do have it, Rob. <laughs> Oh, piss off. Okay. Draw a soul line. Come on. Yeah, baby. Here we go. Right. Time to pop off. Chat, you're back now. Here we go. I had a tiger. I'm playing it. I'm gonna get copyright struck in this video because I played the same part of Arnold Tiger over and over. <laughs> bollocks. Okay. Get rid of Khan. Let's go away, Khan. Bollocks. Oh, um, no. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're only on 11. We're only on 11. <sighs> Maybe I should have kept the Khan. Oh, God. Are they gonna just cast spells inconsequentially for massive damage? Quite possibly. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. No. <laughs> they can literally just Go get on. Flip, flip Embercore into Embercore, because for some reason you're playing it in your deck. Why not cast Khan? Oh, we could have cast Khan. Then down ticked for something. I actually forgot we had a Lion's Eye. Whoops. Um, yeah, I don't think we would have done anything though, right? Nah. Eight. Five. And then they just cast Infernal Tutor and we lose. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> cast Ponder, go on. They're going to they're gonna kill us with spells because it feels new and fresh and original. Go to three. I'm going to go sit and watch you counter it. GG. Right, chat. <laughs> well. So, we did a 2-3. Like I said we would. Yay. Well, actually, it's a 1-4, but it's a 2-3 if we'd actually not fucked about so much game one of round one. Um, the deck is cool. It's fun. It feels very glass cannon. It feels very much more like um, we're playing like uh, uh, like a more elaborate version of Charbelch or some shit. Like, it doesn't feel yeah. like... That's what it felt like initially, anyway. I think knowing more about it, obviously. Um, game one round one. Yeah, yeah, we, we lost a, a, that game, and then, yeah, yeah. Uh, the deck is sick. The deck is genuinely sick. Um, but I think you even need to know a bit more about it. I think with a bit of practice, you do, you do better with it. That's the same with any deck, right? Uh, do you think yep. it is a bit glass cannon? Oh, yeah, 100%. And like you say, like we, you fold pretty hard to... Half the like basic, you know, the force of wheel and oof, Khan, Thalia. <laughs> so, for people who've joined us late, just to reiterate one more time, the Lotus is doubled, and you get to keep the mana that comes off the doubling because doubling cube doesn't keep the restriction. So, if you just have three mana available for lands, and this is in play, and you crack this and activate it, you actually go neutral. You have three commander land mana and three non commander mana. What you have to do is have multiple lotuses in play um, alongside Lions Eye Diamonds to really net a load of mana. And it works. We saw it work on several occasions. Uh, I do think it's a little bit clunky. Um, and it works mainly because of Mystic Forge, because Mystic Forge allows you to play essentially your whole deck. We're only playing nine lands. And the stars and the spheres plus the Mystic Forge tap allows you to drag through them a little bit. Um, but again, I do think the deck's quite glass cannon. I think, honestly... If someone said to me, do you want to play this or do you want to play... If you're going to a tournament, do you want to play this or do you want to play, I don't know, um, Mono Blue Khan, Hull Breacher Echoes sort of thing with Nasa, I'll be, like, I'll be on that plan. Because I think that deck is uh, probably more consistent and has more end games. You can play Force of Will and even Days if you really want to. Um, but yeah, when this deck pops off, it definitely pops off. Because there was, there was some really fun games when we were like, either tigering and like, oh, I've accidentally won, but I don't have time to finish the combo. Um, <laughs> yeah, deck's fun. Deck's fun. Right, chat, it's time. 
for the giveaway. Is this going to work? Da, 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 da. So... No. Okay. Announce the giveaway in the chat. It, so you can enter the giveaway by typing hashtag milk me. And the winner of this, <laughs> the winner of the hashtag milk me, um, uh, uh, will win themselves their pick of a Mythic Archive playmat from Mystical Archive. Fuck that name. Mystical Archive playmat from Ultra Pro. You'll pick one of the arts on the website. I'll grab the website now, actually. That's a good point. Um, and then you will DM me what you want, uh, and I will get them to send it out to you, basically. And whilst we're doing the giveaway, the giveaway's still open, so we've got 55 entries. There's like 185 people here, so I'll give people a bit of time. We'll close the we'll close the entries in like a minute or so. There's a link for anyone who wants to look at the Ultra Pro Mystical Archives. I'll bring up the screen now as well, actually, while we're sat here. Um, have you seen these one? I have, I have. They look very, very cool. If you were to go for any one, which one would it be, and why is it Inquisition of Kozlek? Um, I've actually got one of those on the way. <laughs> so oh, I've got fantastic. one of these. I also picked uh, Faithless Looting... I think I picked up two more. What else did I get? Um, the benefit of being sponsored. I think I went for the new Brainstorm art because I think this is going to be truly iconic because it's going to be like played in Historic so much that it's going to become like synonymous with Historic. Mm -hmm. um, and there was one more. I remember in Grape Shot because I really like the Grape I think the Grape Shot looks good as a playmat. Uh, where are we? It's still open, chat. Still got some time. Uh, Red Mana. Where are we? Yeah, looting ma Matt. Oh god, I love how much it's going to piss people off as well. That really gives me a buzz. Uh, <laughs> wait, there is a grape shot one, right? I thought there was a grape shot one. Did I not order a grape shot one? Did I ask for a grape? Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. The grape shot one. It looks nice as a playmate. It's nice and symmetrical. Yeah, it's like. got a nice open space as well. And I really like on Arena. It looks awesome on the boxes. When you put grape shot on the boxes, and it like spreads open. Mm -hmm. One of the few things I like about it. Uh, Urza's Rage is cool as well. Um, as a piece of art on a playmat, definitely. It bugs me that the, like, I opened that card in my previous pool. I'm like, oh, but there's so many cool little watches. It's a great little card, right? Right, I'm going to close it in uh, 10 15 seconds. So if you have not entered yet, put hashtag milk me in the chat to get a free playmat with free shipping as well. Right, let's close the giveaway by mm -hmm. clicking this button. 65 entries. Rob, did you enter? Ooh, I did. Right. I thought I thought everyone entered, but I guess people are AFK and stuff like that. Uh, and that's the giveaway is closed. Did that work? Yeah, the giveaway is now closed. Didn't even entry is. There we go. We're drawing somebody. We've drawn somebody. Did it auto pick into chat? No, I have to now announce it. Yeah. Announce the drawn entrant. There we go. There we go. Mr. Well three two one. You've won yourself, Mr. Glock I've about. If you can please whisper me um Rigged? How is it rigged? I don't... Shut up, Nasmith, you shit. Uh, please DM me, and we'll sort it out. Um, if you can, and I mean DM me, listen very close to Mr. Well. Are you there in chat? I wanted to say hello before I... There you go. Mr. Well, 3 2, 1. DM me. I will reiterate this in the DM. I'm going to need your shipping... And this is a DM. Don't type this into chat. Your name, your shipping address, and a mobile number for the shipping contact, okay? I'll need those in a DM. I will I will reiterate that if you don't know what I just said. Just just whisper me on Twitch. I'll leave this all out this evening, or I'll respond to the DM uh, first thing tomorrow as well, after the stream. Whisper. I don't know what the fuck it's called on Twitch. Whisper. It's just a DM. It's a direct message. I don't know what flavor it is. Like, I don't hear you telling me that lightning strikes not lightning bolt. God fucking damn. I never win anything in giveaways. I hope we start doing some more giveaways, I'm hoping. As I get more stuff free from companies, I can just sling out in giveaways and stuff. So hopefully we'll have more regular stuff than this. I was going to do this midstream. I just fucking totally forgot. Right, chat. We are done for the evening. Uh, deck was fun. I had a lot of fun. Um, it's always good to play some Legacy, even when your decks are fucking mean. <laughs> right, let's have a look at who we're going to raid. Where will we? Oh. Let's throw a raid over to Benjineering is I think he's learned to play League of I know I know Yeah, I know Seabats is learning League. I think Benjineering's learning League as well. Let's raid C uh a Benjineering then. Right, everybody get in the clown car, get your toots ready. Can we get at least a hundred for the raid? Come on. Yeah, there we go. It's so weird. So some of the people here just didn't want 
to enter the giveaway, but they didn't want to do the raid. So it was interesting, isn't it? We got exactly 100. Oh, 101. There we go. Wait, kids, there'll be videos tomorrow, probably Wednesday and Thursday on the channel as well, as well as the stream video go up if you want to see more of it on the channel as well. Um, and there'll be some random streams uh, later in the week as well. I think I'm doing a box break entry when we're going to live stream what I get from CFB on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Hashtag sponsored. Oh, hashtag sponsored for the Ultra Pro thing as well. I think I made it pretty clear. Uh, and we also have D&D, &D, which we're doing on Friday, Rob. Is that right? <sighs> that is indeed. Fuck, we should have mentioned that earlier, shouldn't we? Like, it's so yeah, late. <laughs> Friday night, we'll be streaming another uh, one shot with the same characters as last time. So they're kind of what? They're kind of campaign like, but not. Right, kids, over to see Ben playing some League, and I'll catch you all later. It's half an hour. Bye.